Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. My Medicine Cauldron Can Automatically Pill Refining. Chapter 61. 5,000 Low Grade Spirit Stones. Shu Yu Fan's head was full of black lines. Dage, are you talking like a lion? Well, fellow Taoist, if you think it's suitable, then we'll make a deal. The cloaked man nodded. This. Dot you misunderstood. Shu Yu Fan rolled his eyes. The price has exceeded my expectations. A middle level attack talisman is about 800 to 1000 low level spirit stones. Although the sword talisman can be used five times, the cloaked man's asking price of 5000 low grade spirit stones is not too low. This, the cloaked man was speechless for a moment, fellow Taoist, if you really want to buy it, I can reduce some spirit stones. You know, this imperial sword talisman can kill foundation establishment early stage cultivator. Quote. The man in the cloak tried his best to sell, for fear that Shu Yu Fan would turn around and leave. How many spirit stones will be reduced? Shu Yu Fan asked. Hum, 100 low tier spirit stones. The man in the cloak pondered for a while and said. Shu Yu Fan staggered and almost fell to the ground. Fellow Taoist, don't bring such a funny person. After speaking, he was ready to turn around and leave. Of course, Shu Yu Fan didn't really want to leave. Thanks to his experience in bargaining in his previous life, if he nodded to leave, the store would definitely lower the price. Sure enough, the man in the cloak stopped Shu Yu Fan as soon as he turned his head and before he raised his feet. Fellow Taoist, stay a step. To tell you the truth, I need 10,000 low grade spirit stones urgently. So far, only 5,000 spirit stones have been collected, so this sword talisman really cannot be lower than 5,000 spirit stones. Quote, the cloaked man spoke sincerely, as if he was afraid that Shu Yu Fan would reject him. Shu Yu Fan was taken aback for a moment, he didn't expect the other party to say that. Fellow Taoist, as long as you spend 5,000 spirit stones to buy this imperial sword talisman, I, Zhang Heoren, promise to compensate you with an intermediate talisman in half a year. The man in the cloak seemed to be at his wit's end, even writing a bad check. Ah, this, Shu Yu Fan hesitated who would believe such a thing, it would be more practical than reducing the price by 500 spirit stones. Fellow Taoist, the man in the cloak begged bitterly. Shu Yu Fan frowned, thought for a moment, and suddenly asked, are you a talisman maker? Hearing Shu Yu Fan ask himself if he was a talisman maker, the man in the cloak didn't realize it, and subconsciously replied, there is a talisman making experience handed down at home, I. I just learned talisman making for a while, so I can't be considered a talisman maker. Quote. You mean you're just a talisman maker, not a talisman maker? Shu Yu Fan frowned. Yes, only those who are cultivated by the sect are called rune makers. Cloak. The man nodded. Did you make those 40 low level talismans? Shu Yu Fan asked again. Well, yes, the cloaked man nodded again. Shu Yu Fan was speechless. Why can't he be a talisman maker if he can make talismans? This person, is too rigid. I'd like to be called. Dot the honest guy who repaired the immortal world. He shook his head helplessly, but didn't ask any more. Then fellow Taoist, this imperial sword talisman. The man in the cloak brought the topic back. After weighing in his mind, Shu Yu Fan nodded. Okay, I bought it. Quote. Hearing Shu Yu Fan's affirmative answer, the man in the cloak heaved a sigh of relief. He finally collected 10,000 spirit stones. But first tell me how to guarantee that you will give me an intermediate talisman after half a year. This, the man in the cloak hesitated for a while, and after thinking for a long time, he said, if the fellow Taoist is trustworthy, I can write a letter of guarantee, and after half a year, I will be able to hand over the talisman to you. Shu Yu Fan was taken aback, then smiled and said, what kind of guarantee, it's unnecessary. This, the man in the cloak was a little anxious, thinking that Shu Yu Fan didn't believe him, and was about to explain. I heard Shu Yu Fan say, there is no need to write a guarantee letter, and the time should not be half a year, but one year. You give me an address, and I will find you in one year. Quote. The man in the cloak rejoices. The fellow Taoist didn't joke, did he? Shu Yu Fan divine sense moved, and took out a storage bag containing spirit stones from Great Thousand World, this is 50 medium grade spirit stones, you put it away. This bag of spirit stones was exactly what Chen Tian gave him back then. 
Originally, there were 100 mid-tier spirit stones, but Vajra and Jerry took a lot of them. He used some more, and there were just 50 yuan left. The man in the cloak took the storage bag, checked it a little, and was overjoyed. Thank you fellow Taoist, today I, Zhang Heoran, owe fellow Taoist a huge favor, and I will definitely repay it in the future. Quote, the man in the cloak, that is, Zhang Heoran said excitedly. At the same time, he handed the imperial sword talisman to Xu Yufan, fellow Taoist, please keep this imperial sword talisman. Xu Yufan took the imperial sword talisman and put it in the storage bag. Zhang Heoran cupped hands to Xu Yufan. According to what the fellow Taoist said, after one year, the fellow Taoist can take this item to find me at the Zhangjia Fu shop in Tianfang City. At that time, Zhang will surely fulfill his promise. Quote. While talking, Zhang Heoran took out a jade pendant and handed it to Xu Yufan. Also, please fellow Taoist take good care of the jade pendant for Zhang. This is an item handed down from dozens of generations in my family. Xu Yufan took the jade pendant and took a look. There was a pen engraved on it, which was lifelike, as if inlaid up in general. Don't worry Zhang fellow Taoist, this is natural. Xu Yufan nodded in agreement. Fellow Taoist, Mr. Zhang still has something to do, so let's leave first. Zhang Heoran bowed his cupped hands, then turned and left. Looking at the back of Zhang Heoran going away, Xu Yufan shook his head, he was so stupid, it seemed that he didn't even ask for his own name. Looking carefully at the jade pendant in his hand again, he didn't see any tricks, so he put it into the storage bag. The reason why Xu Yufan bought the Imperial Sword Talisman with 5,000 low-grade spirit stones was not because he wanted Zhang Heoran's mid-level talisman a year later, but because he had other plans. Zhang Heoran knew how to make talismans, although he didn't say that he could make mid-level talismans, but he guessed based on the half-year agreement he said. After half a year, Zhang Heoran will be able to make intermediate talismans. And Xu Yufan took a fancy to this point, intermediate level talismans are not low level talismans, and there are not many cultivators who can produce intermediate level talismans in the entire Great Chin. If the talisman makers trained by sector excluded, the remaining rogue cultivators are estimated to be no more than two hands. Xu Yufan had offended Zhou Guangzong, and his situation was worrisome. Coupled with his current low strength, the two were not at the same level at all. If you want to survive Zhou Guangzong's persecution, you must strengthen your own strength. The foundation establishment period is far away, and it is not within the scope of Xu Yufan's consideration. If you want to strengthen your own strength to compete against Zhou Guangzong, you can only rely on external forces. And the simplest and easiest way is the talisman. Low-level talismans don't consume much magic power, they are basically cast instantly, and their power is not small. Facing a cultivator in the Qi refining period, Xu Yufan is confident that he can kill a cultivator of the same rank several times or even dozens of times by himself by relying on the talisman. As for the middle-level talisman, not to mention other things, the imperial sword talisman I just got is more confident than the cultivator Xu Yufan of the foundation establishment early stage. He believed that if he escaped from Zhou Guangzong's conspiracy again and again, the other party would definitely let the cultivator in the foundation establishment stage take action. Such as Chang Kui. At that time, no matter how many low-level talismans he has, it will be useless. Therefore, when he guessed that Zhang Heoran could make an intermediate talisman, he came up with this idea. As long as Zhang Heoran can provide him with enough intermediate talismans, Xu Yufan believes that he will be able to survive his breakthrough to the foundation establishment period. At that time, not to mention Zhou Guangzong, even Zhou Chengqing, the head of his grandfather, would have to weigh himself if he wanted to move him. After all, a cultivator in the foundation establishment period is undoubtedly the backbone for a small sect like Qianyuanzong. Of course, the premise of all this must be that he guessed correctly, Zhang Heoran can make intermediate talismans. Xu Yufan regained his composure, put his thoughts behind him, and started walking in the market again. An hour later, Xu Yufan left the temporary square city. This line can be said to be very rewarding. In addition to Zhang Heoran's talisman at the beginning, Xu Yufan also bought a set of Shaoshuan Tianzhen, which is several times more powerful than the Maizong formation. And a batch of spiritual herb seeds. According to Xu Yufan's understanding, 
Most of those spiritual herb seeds are the spiritual herbs needed by the medicine pill during the foundation establishment period. However, what Shu Yufan regretted was that he couldn't find a suitable own magical item, so he had to buy another 20 attack talismans with much worse effects, and there were many types. There are ground stabs, fireballs, ice cones, and wind rolls. Temporary Fengxi is not far from Qianyuanzong. Xu Yufan was not in a hurry to go back, but walked back slowly all the way. After buying so many talismans, Xu Yufan was in a good mood and hummed a little song. As the song continued, a figure flashed and blocked Xu Yufan's way. Xu Yufan raised his eyes and saw that the young man in front of him was wearing a green shirt and long robe, and his hair was tied up with a purple gold crown, looking extremely handsome. Xu Yufan narrowed his eyes, he didn't know this person, or even met him. Looking at its magic power fluctuations, it is almost the same as myself. Is there anything the fellow Taoist can do next? Xu Yufan asked. Well, of course there is something to do. The man in Sing Yi nodded. What's the matter? Xu Yufan asked. I've been short of some spirit stones lately, I just saw a fellow Taoist spend a lot of money in Fangxi, so he must have a lot of spirit stones. So I have the cheek to beg for spirit stones. The man in blue said with a smile. Xu Yufan couldn't help but laugh when he heard this. This man in Sing Yi was obviously here to blackmail himself, he never expected to be robbed even in Qianyuanzong's territory. As the fellow Taoist joking, Xu Yufan looked at the man in Sing Yi and said calmly, Ha ha, Wu never jokes, just a word, will the fellow Taoist borrow or not? The man in Sing Yi laughed twice, his face full of arrogance. If I don't give it to you, will I still grab it? Xu Yufan asked back. If the fellow Taoist is willing to borrow it, of course not, but if not, then don't blame the fellow Taoist for turning my face away. A cold road. Hearing the tone of the man in Sing Yi, he seemed to be ready to make a move. Your Excellency, you know that this is the territory of Qianyuanzong, and I happen to be a disciple of Qianyuanzong. Xu Yufan looked at the man in Sing Yi jokingly. What about Qianyuanzong's territory? Every time Wu works for more than a cup of tea, this time is no exception. The man in Sing Yi sneered. After the man in Sing Yi finished speaking, he slapped the storage bag, took out three flying swords, and rushed towards Xu Yufan. Wu, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. In an instant, the three flying swords turned into three poisonous snakes, and they came straight to Xu Yufan, so fast that they arrived in the blink of an eye. Xu Yufan's face darkened, and he stepped back again and again. At the same time, he slapped the storage bag and held a talisman in his hand. Xu Yufan sent a little magic power to the talisman, and suddenly, a blue flame rose up, and then Xu Yufan threw the blue flame to the three flying swords, instantly enveloping them and burning them blazingly. Surrounded by blue flames, the three flying swords were quickly extinguished, but they were not completely engulfed. They were still burning, making a buzzing sound. The man in Sing Yi was not surprised when he saw that his three flying swords were actually burned down. Boy, look at my sleepy spirit net. The man in Sing Yi chanted a spell, and with a wave of his hand, a black curtain of light enveloped Xu Yufan. Xu Yufan frowned and swayed, avoiding the attack of the black light curtain. At the same time, he raised a fireball and threw it towards the black light curtain. Boom, the fireball hit the black light curtain and exploded. A huge power was transmitted from the fireball, and the surrounding ground trembled violently. However, the black light curtain was not damaged at all, it was still intact, and the black light curtain continued to spread towards Xu Yufan. Xu Yufan didn't dare to hesitate, raised his hand, and threw out another talisman, this time the talisman was Wind Scroll. Suddenly, a tornado appeared out of thin air, sweeping towards the black light curtain. Rumbling. The tornado collided with the black light curtain, and there were explosions one after another. However, Xu Yufan's tornado. After colliding several times, it dissipated into nothingness, without hurting the black light curtain at all. Seeing this situation, Xu Yufan couldn't help feeling dignified. It seems that this black light curtain is not simple. Boy, you also want to break my trapped spirit net. To tell you the truth, my sleepy spirit net is a middle-grade magical item, even the cultivator of the foundation establishment early stage can be trapped, let alone. Listen to my words, surrender obediently and wait for death, otherwise it will make you a thousand times more painful. The man in Sing Yi said with a sneer, 
his face was full of mocking smiles, as if Xu Yufan was already a fish on the chopping board, let him slaughter him. Xu Yufan's heart moved, even the cultivator of the foundation establishment early stage could be trapped. It seems that I am in trouble this time. Pay attention to it. Xu Yufan thought to himself. Seeing that the black light curtain was about to cover him, Xu Yufan suddenly shouted. Disease. Immediately, a red talisman flew out and attached to Xu Yufan's body. Immediately, a red light suddenly rose from Xu Yufan's body. The red light quickly enveloped Xu Yufan's whole body inside. Afterwards, the red light was absorbed and turned into pieces of khaki discs, protecting Xu Yufan. This is exactly the talisman seal earth shield technique bought from Zhang Heoren. The sleepy spirit net of the young man surnamed Wu was too strong, so Xu Yufan decided to use the earth shield technique, which would be safer. This earth shield technique can forcibly resist the full blow of the tenth layer of qi refining, and it can also block the sleepy spirit net once or twice. Sure enough, the black light curtain was covered on the khaki element, and it did not continue to shrink inward. Seeing this, Xu Yufan felt relieved. HMPH, can a small earth shield technique block my trapped spirit net? Your idea is too beautiful. The young man surnamed Wu snorted disdainfully. You have to try it to know if it works. Xu Yufan smiled lightly. In that case, then I'll let you taste my strength. After finishing speaking, the young man surnamed Wu squeezed a formula in his hand and pointed towards the black light curtain. Immediately, the power of the black light curtain greatly increased and became bigger again. Under the black light curtain, Xu Yufan's earth shield technique gradually became invincible. Seeing that his earth shield technique was about to be broken, Xu Yufan's eyes flashed brightly, and he slapped the storage bag. He sacrificed a golden talisman, which was the sword talisman that could kill the cultivator of the foundation establishment period. Xu Yufan threw the imperial sword talisman in his hand, and then activated the magic power in Dantian. A tyrannical suction force erupted from the Yujian talisman. The magic power of Xu Yufan Dantian rushed directly to the Yujian talisman. Buzz. Golden light. The Yujian talisman instantly changed into a golden streamer, standing in the air. The imperial sword talisman continued to absorb Xu Yufan Dantian's magic power, and Xu Yufan only felt that Dantian was inserted into a water pump, slowly pumping the magic power outward. Xu Yufan's face became ugly, but he didn't stop, the magic power in Dantian was rushing like a long river. The speed at which the magic power in Dantian is drawn is getting faster and faster. The suction on the Yujian talisman has become weaker and weaker. The young man surnamed Wu over there saw something was wrong, and desperately activated the sleepy spirit net, trying to strangle Xu Yufan to death. A cloud of black air rolled over the sleepy spirit net, exuding an extremely strong and evil air. The power of contraction reached its peak. The khaki yellow elements all over Xu Yufan's body could no longer hold up, and began to crack inch by inch. Kacha. Finally, there was a crisp sound. The khaki discs shattered. The shrinking force on the Lingling net directly shattered the earth shield technique. Circles of khaki discs broke like a glass cover, and eventually all of them shattered into powder and scattered. Ha ha, kid, let me die. The young man surnamed Wu looked up to the sky and laughed wildly, his eyes full of sarcasm. However, there was no emotion in Xu Yu Fan's eyes. Instead, he said with a hint of sarcasm, look who died. I saw that the flowing light transformed from the Yujian talisman had already reached its peak. The golden streamer suddenly swelled up, and the golden brilliance exploded. Yin, a buzzer sounded in the air. The streamer disappeared into the air. Not good. Seeing this scene, the young man surnamed Wu was shocked, and hurriedly controlled the sleepy spirit net to retreat, trying to escape, but it was too late. The golden streamer was extremely fast, and it reached the forehead of the young man surnamed Wu in the blink of an eye. Before the young man surnamed Wu could react, Lu Guang directly penetrated his forehead and exploded. The young man surnamed Wu bulged and stared, and fell straight on the ground, dying with regret. After killing the young man surnamed Wu, Lu Guang flew back to Xu Yufan's palm, and then turned into a talisman and lay quietly in his palm. This Yujian talisman is really powerful. Killing a qi refining cultivator is as easy as crushing an ant. In Xu Yufan's heart, with a secret praise, he looked at the sword talisman on his palm, and a hint of joy flashed in the depths of his eyes. 
Although the young man surnamed Wu used the sleepy spirit net to attack Xu Yufan just now, Xu Yufan was not injured, but he almost died. If it weren't for the Yujian talisman to kill the young man surnamed Wu, he would have been in danger. Xu Yufan put away the Yujian talisman. The sleepy spirit net lost the control of the young man surnamed Wu, and it had already shown its original shape and fell to the ground. Unexpectedly, this sleepy spirit net turned out to be a small ball. Xu Yufan looked at the sleepy spirit net on the ground, a trace of surprise flashed in his eyes. The sleepy spirit net turned out to be a spherical object the size of a fist. Xu Yufan bent down to pick up the sleepy spirit net, and put the sleepy spirit net into the storage ring. Then he walked quickly to the young man surnamed Wu, raised his hand and grabbed his storage bag. Xu Yufan didn't investigate immediately, turned around and left in a hurry. Now that his magic power has been exhausted, there is no magic power in his body at all. If he encounters any danger, he may not even have a chance to escape. It is not far from Qianyuanzong in Temporary Square City, and the power of the Yujian Talisman has probably been noticed just now. Soon for sure, someone will come here to check on the situation. I should hurry back to Qianyuanzong as soon as possible. Thinking this way, Xu Yufan took out two qi refining pills and accelerated back while recovering the magic power. Fortunately, the effect of recovering magic power from the ultimate qi refining pill is very significant. Within half a quarter of an hour, Xu Yufan had some magic power in his body. Without hesitation, Xu Yufan turned on Dantian magic power, wrapped himself up and rushed towards Qianyuanzong Go. When approaching the gate of Qianyuanzong, a group of three people hurriedly came to meet Xu Yufan in Qianyuanzong's inner discipline costumes. Sensing the fluctuation of Xu Yufan's magic power, the leader of the other party respectfully said to Xu Yufan, This senior, the sect senior said there was a fight ahead, did you see it? Did not see. Xu Yufan didn't stop, and directly passed the three of them. The three of them were taken aback, they obviously didn't expect Xu Yufan to be so indifferent. But when he wanted to take a closer look, Xu Yufan had already gone far. After returning to Qianyuanzong, Xu Yufan didn't dare to delay, and rushed directly to his own immortal cave. However, Lin Dekong was seen standing at the entrance of a mortal cave from a long distance away. Brother Lin, Xu Yufan stopped in his tracks. When Lin Dekong saw Xu Yufan coming back, he hurried up to meet him. Brother Xu, I have been waiting here for a while, where have you been? Why did you come back? Xu Yufan asked suspiciously. I went to the temporary market, why are you waiting for me here? Lin Dekong smiled. Come on, let's go in and talk. It seems that there is something happy about it. Xu Yufan didn't talk nonsense, opened the immortal cave's restrictions, and entered the immortal cave with Lin Dekong. As soon as he sat down, Xu Yufan asked, Senior brother Lin, what is your urgent matter with me? Seeing the joy on your face, do you know that the son of our sect leader has already broken through to the ninth floor of Qi Refining? Quote. Xu Yufan was slightly taken aback when he heard this. Unexpectedly, Lin Dekong asked him to come here for this matter. I just found out about this, did something good happen? It's a good thing, haha. Lin Dekong said with a mysterious smile. What's the matter? Don't keep it secret, tell me quickly. Xu Yufan urged. My master asked me to manage a spirit stone's mind for a period of one year. After one year, as long as there are no accidents, I can get another foundation establishment. Managing the spirit stone's mind. Xu Yufan's heart moved, and he immediately asked expectantly, but the spirit stone's mine in the north. Lin Dekong shook his head. No, it's in the south. Xu Yufan is like a deflated ball, and he is in the south, which means that he is not in the same place as his exile. If it is in the north, in the same spirit stone's mine, with Lin Dekong, at least there is no problem with own safety. Seeing Xu Yufan's dejected look, Lin Dekong was puzzled and asked, why does my brother look like this? Lin Dekong didn't know that he was exiled to the spirit stone's mine in the north, so he asked this question. So Xu Yufan talked about his exile. After listening, Lin Dekong showed a helpless look. Junior brother, it is not surprising that there are many sect spirit stone's mines. Pausing for a while, he comforted Xu Yufan again. Junior brother, you don't have to worry too much. It's just a year of exile. With your strength, it's not difficult to dig spirit stones. I know, brother, 
You don't have to worry about me. Xu Yufan nodded. The two chatted for another half an hour before Lin Dekong took his leave. Xu Yufan watched Lin Dekong leave. Before leaving, Xu Yufan took out ten low-level talisman seals and two bottles of high-level qi refining pills and gave them to Lin Dekong. Lin Dekong naturally declined in every possible way. But Xu Yufan insisted on sending him off, and seeing that he couldn't refuse, Lin Dekong had no choice but to accept. I wanted to give the foundation establishment pill to Lin Dekong, but after thinking about it carefully, I felt it was inappropriate, so I gave up the idea. After Lin Dekong left, Xu Yufan returned to a mortal cave and waited for half an hour, making sure that Chen Tian would not appear again, then he slapped himself and entered the Great Thousand World. Entering the Great Thousand Worlds, gave the spiritual herb seeds to Vajra. That guy ran to the medicine garden to plant. Jerry is a hard-working little mouse. In addition to stealing the leaves of spiritual herbs every day, he also takes Xu Yudin's Qi refining pill to practice. Without the noise of these two live treasures, Xu Yufan is also happy and quiet. He took out the storage bag of the cultivator named Wu, turned out all the contents, and piled up a small pile on the ground. Hey, so many. Looking at the piles of various spirit stones medicine pills and materials, Xu Yufan exclaimed, this time it is really developed. He didn't expect the young man surnamed Wu to be so rich, more than all the cultivators killed before combined. Thinking of the actions of cultivator Wu, Xu Yufan was filled with emotion. Stopping and robbing is really the fastest way to get money. Next, Xu Yufan began to classify. Mid-grade spirit stones. Hey, there are low-level talisman papers. This is the horn of demonic beasts, and this is the claw. Wow, there are also spiritual herbs, and the age is not low. Xu Yufan muttered while classifying. Wait, this is. Xu Yufan's eyes suddenly lit up. This is, this is. After watching carefully for a while, his eyes gradually widened. This, this turned out to be, a purple golden vine. Xu Yufan tremblingly picked up a vine like spiritual herbs. Dot. It turned out to be the real purple gold vine, one of the raw materials for the foundation establishment pill. Xu Yufan's heart was agitated. Oh my god, I never thought that the young man surnamed Wu would have a purple golden vine, and I would get it. This is really very lucky. Xu Yufan was very excited. With his fundamental aptitude, a foundation establishment pill can't break through the foundation establishment period, and can only rely on the quantity to pile up to the foundation establishment period. Only by gathering together the nine kinds of spiritual herbs that have built Kedon, can you have countless foundation establishment dans. Xu Yufan carefully inspected the purple golden vine in his hand and found that its roots. Strong and intact, no damage at all. Ha ha, God help me, it can still grow by mistake in the medicine garden. Ah, this purple golden vine is more than a hundred years old, and it can continue to grow when planted in the medicine garden. The quality of Chengden will definitely be higher. Quote. Xu Yufan carefully put away the purple golden vines, and several of them rushed to the medicine garden. Xiaojin, Xu Yufan called out. The white ape king didn't hear it, only heard him say in a low voice, Boss, please call me golden pharmacist. Xu Yufan, Xiao Jin, Xu Yufan called out again. Boss, please call me golden pharmacist. Vajra still didn't look up. Okay, Xu Yufan had no choice but to give up. Golden pharmacist. As soon as the words were finished, Vajra raised her head happily, Boss, what do you want from me? Xu Yufan, quick, help me plant this purple golden vine. He said and handed over the purple golden vine in his hand. Vajra, okay. Vajra took over the purple vines and started planting them in the ground in earnest. Xu Yufan stood by and observed quietly, nodding his head from time to time to express his satisfaction. Xiao Jin, your technology is getting more and more proficient. Xu Yufan praised. Vajra grinned. Xu Yufan glanced at him and asked. Xiao Jin, do you know what the purple golden vine is for? Vajra raised his head, with a straight face, Boss, it's called golden pharmacist. Xu Yufan, cough cough cough. Xu Yufan coughed a few times in embarrassment, Gold pharmacist, do you know what this purple golden vine is for? I don't know. Vajra shook her head honestly. Xu Yufan, this Vajra is quite straightforward. It is one of the nine spiritual herbs that are refined from the foundation establishment. Xu Yufan explained. 
refining foundation establishment Dan. Vajra's eyes widened, and he exclaimed in surprise, Boss, this is a rare spiritual herbs grass. Shu Yu Fan, hum, so you must take great care of it, and there must be no mistakes. And that silver snake gut, absolutely cannot let Xiaoji steal the leaves. Quote, I promise, Vajra patted his chest, Shu Yu Fan. Boss, is there anything else you need my help with? Vajra asked. Not for now, Shu Yu Fan replied. Oh, then I'll be busy. Vajra squatted on the ground and carefully cultivated the purple vines. Correct, golden pharmacist, it would be even better if he could obtain the seeds of these two spiritual herbs. Shu Yu Fan thought of something, added. Ooh, yes, Vajra responded. Shu Yu Fan returned to the pill refining room and continued to classify. In the end, Shu Yu Fan picked out two things that were useful to him, and threw the rest into the storage bag and put them in the pill refining room. The two things that were picked out were a stack of more than 10 low-level charms and a set of thunderbolt beads. Needless to say, there are many types of low-level talismans, including attack, defense, and auxiliary. What surprised Shu Yu Fan was the set of thunderbolt beads. This set of thunderbolt beads belongs to the top-level magical item of the low-level. It is composed of 18 thumb-sized beads. Each bead contains a piece of thunder attributed power. The method of use is also very simple, just send magic power and throw it. It can be used singly or in combination, the more balls thrown, the stronger the power. If 18 pieces are thrown together, even the early stage cultivators in the foundation establishment period may not be able to resist. Hee <laughs> hee, luckily the young man surnamed Wu didn't use it at that time. Thunderbolt beads, otherwise, even if I try my best, I may not be able to escape. Quote, thinking of these, Xu Yu Fan couldn't help but feel a little lucky. If the young man surnamed Wu had used the thunderbolt beads at that time, he might have died in his hands. Of course, if he hides in the Great Thousand World, then everything will be different. Xu Yu Fan stayed in the pill refining room for a while, and found that there was nothing to do. So he simply repaired, the Jew of controlling the spirit. My cultivation base can't break through the ninth level of qi refining for a while, and my cultivation can't improve my strength much. Divine physique has also reached the current peak, and if it has not reached the ninth level of qi refining, divine physique cannot be refined. Now I can only practice the spirit controlling Jew to see if I can increase my soul power a little. Shu Yu Fan Lotus position sat on the ground and began to split the soul just like the first time. It was still the same pain, but compared to the first time, it was obviously much easier this time. The soul was separated little by little, and the two parts were separated evenly in a short time. Next, Shu Yu Fan controls two fractionated divinity souls to fight each other. Early the next morning, an inner disciple at the seventh level of Qi refining came to Shu Yu Fan Immortal Cave. Junior brother Shu, Cheng Deacon is welcome. Although Shu Yu Fan is already at the 8th level of Qi Refining, he wears the concealment bead and adjusts the cultivation base to the 7th level of Qi Refining, so the other party calls him Junior. Shu Yu Fan didn't say much, opened the Immortal Cave restrictions, and followed the disciple to the Mission Hall. When I came to the Mission Hall and met Cheng Kui, the two of them had nothing to say, so they went straight to the topic. Marshal Nephew Shu, I've already let people know Marshal Nephew Long, and asked him to greet you well, you won't suffer when you get there, don't worry. Cheng Kui said with a smile, just like a kind elder. Xu Yu Fan sneered slightly in his heart, probably to ask senior brother Long to greet me well. Although he was disdainful in his heart, he pretended to be extremely touched on the surface. Cheng Deacon has a heart, and my nephew is here, thank you for your care. Ha ha, you're welcome, I won't say much else, the sect just wants to send some outer sect disciples and inner disciples there, so you can go together. After finishing speaking, Cheng Kui called the inner disciple just now and asked him to take Xu Yu Fan to the assembly point. The gathering place is not far from the mission hall, only a few miles away. When we arrived at the gathering place, there were already more than a dozen people waiting there. This is nephew Xu, right? I am Hubo who sent you there this time. The cultivator who led a foundation establishment period said lightly. Xu Yu Fan has met Hu Senior. Xu Yu Fan cupped hands said with a very respectful attitude. Hu Bo nodded. Okay, since everyone has arrived, let's go. After speaking, 
he took out a miniature arc from the storage bag and then pinched the formula with both hands. The arc suddenly glowed, emitting a strong light. The light gradually condensed into a shape, and it suddenly became dozens of times larger and suspended in the air. Come on, let's go up, Hu Bo said. Yes, Xu Yufan and the others responded and jumped onto the arc. The arc slowly flew to a high place in midair, and finally stayed above the clouds, then the speed increased sharply, and flew forward. After a while, the arc disappeared into the clouds and drew an arc in the high sky. The arc flew for nearly a day and a night, and Hubo arrived at the destination with Xu Yufan and a dozen people. Here, here is Sect's North Mountain Spirit Stone's mine, and it is also the destination for sending you here this time. The arc landed on a level ground. Xu Yufan raised his eyes and saw a huge rolling mountain range here. The mountains are lush and full of towering ancient trees. In the mountains, there is a hint of spiritual qi faintly revealed. What a strong spiritual qi! Xu Yufan couldn't help exclaiming. It's natural, the mine is under our feet. Dong, the Baishan spirit stones mine has not been mined for a long time, and there are still many spirit stones below that have not been mined, so the spiritual qi here is strong. Hu Bo explained. Hearing this, Xu Yufan nodded to express his understanding. Thinking that he will stay in the mine for the next year, in the dark mine tunnel, digging up rocks and soil one by one, looking for the spirit stones inside, Xu Yufan can't help but feel a little bit awe-inspiring. According to the regulations, except for the garrison personnel sent by sect, everyone else must enter the mine to dig spirit stones. Xu Yufan was exiled here, so naturally he had to go into the mine to dig spirit stones. Okay, let's go in. Hu Bo asked everyone. N. Everyone responded, and followed Hu Bo into the Baishan Spirit Stone's mine. Xu Yufan followed at the end of the line. As soon as I arrived at the entrance, I saw cultivators dressed in the costumes of Qianyuanzong's inner disciple and outer sect disciple standing on both sides. Uncle Hu, Uncle Hu, Hu Senior, meet Hu Senior. Many disciples greeted him one after another. Hu Bo nodded slightly as a return gift. At this time, a young man led several people to Hu Bo. Disciple Long Wenji has met Master Hu. Long Wenji said with cupped hands. This leading young man is the person in charge of the Baishan Spirit Stone's mine. Long Wenji. Wenjia, this is the group of disciples who came to dig spirit stones, please make arrangements. Hu Bo ordered. Yes, my disciple will send someone to do it right away. After finishing speaking, Long Wenji turned his head to look at the people behind him, and ordered, you guys, bring them in. After finishing speaking, he respectfully said to Hu Bo, Uncle Hu, the disciple has prepared spirit, flesh and spirit wine inside, please go in and enjoy it. Hu Bo shook his head and rejected Long Wenji's invitation. No need, I have to rush back to sect, I can't stay long, I leave these matters to you. In this case, the disciple will not keep Master Hu. Long Wenji took out a storage bag from his arms and handed it to Hu Bo. Uncle Hu, here are 100 middle grade spirit stones, which is my disciple's honor to you. Hu Bo used divine sense to check the spirit stones in the storage bag, secretly surprised. It turned out to be full of spirit stones. Ha ha, Wen Jia really has a heart. Hu Bo put away the storage bag and said with a smile. Uncle Hu is being polite. This is what a disciple should do. Okay, go get busy, I'm going back to sect. Hu Bo waved his hand, said no more his figure flickered, and he flew tens of meters away in the blink of an eye. Looking at Hu Bo's disappearing back, Long Wenji's face flashed with envy, the cultivator in the foundation establishment period is really different from the qi refining period. After a long time, Long Wenji's previous respectful expression disappeared, replaced by a murderous expression, and he turned to face everyone. Shouted. Why are you all standing still? Why don't you hurry up and bring the newcomer in? Yes. Senior Brother Long. Everyone reacted and hurried forward, leading Xu Yufan and others forward. Xu Yufan followed the crowd and walked slowly into the largest mine in the north of Qianyuanzong, Baishan Spirit Stone's mine. After crossing the gate, there is a huge square. In the square, there were hundreds of people standing, watching Xu Yufan and others enter. A D E R T I S E M E N T. In an instant, Hundreds of eyes all turned to Xu Yufan and the dozen or so people in unison. Xu Yufan also set his sights on some cultivators. 
These hundreds of cultivator cultivation bases are not high, they are all around the fifth level of chi refining. None of them looked like immortal cultivators, everyone was wearing tattered and dirty clothes, with a storage bag hanging from their waist or holding a storage bag in their hand. The faces of all cultivators are pale, with a sickly yellow in the white. After these cultivators saw Xu Yufan and others, some of them glanced once or twice and stopped watching. Some stared at them for a long time. Others are sympathetic and compassionate. They lined up, next to each other, all the way to the front of the square. Xu Yufan looked over, there was a long table in front, six people were standing behind it, and there was a chair behind the long table, which was empty. The inner disciple who led Xu Yufan and a dozen people in took Xu Yufan and the others to an open space aside, and said coldly, Okay, you wait here, today is the day for mining disciples to hand in spirit stones, senior brother Long has to be busy confiscate the spirit stones, and he will be free to arrange accommodation for you when he finishes his work. When Xu Yufan heard about it, he immediately understood, no wonder there are so many people, it turned out that it was the mining disciples who had arrived on the day of mining. Sect stipulates that the adoption of spirit stones is a three-month cycle, and spirit stones are collected every three months. Disciples who enter the mine to dig spirit stones have a number of tasks every cycle. Those who complete the task can get a 1% spirit stones reward, and the over-completion part has a 5% reward. Disciples who fail to complete the task will be punished. If the first cycle is not completed, the second cycle will increase the amount of tasks by 20%. If the second cycle is not completed, it will be punished by the person in charge of the mine. The content of the punishment is decided by the person in charge of the mine. That is to say, it is not against the rules of the sect to kill or maim disciples for two consecutive cycles. Because most of the disciples who mined spirit stones in the spirit stones mine were outer sect disciples with no qualifications and inner disciples who made mistakes, so sect didn't care much about the lives of these people. This is why Chang Kui exiled Xu Yufan in the Spirit Stones mine. As long as the person in charge of the Spirit Stones mine takes some action, killing Xu Yufan is not an easy task. At this time, Long Wenji, who had sent Hu Bo away, came back. He walked behind the long table and sat on the empty chair. Continue, Long Wenji said coldly. Then, the disciple who took the first place in the pat. Senior brother Long, here are my spirit stones for this month. The mid-grade spirit stones are 20 yuan, and the low-grade spirit stones are 3,000 yuan. The disciple handed over the storage bag. Long Wenji looked at the storage bag in his hand, nodded with a smile, and said, Very good, you have completed this month's task. Moreover, there are 10 extra middle-grade spirit stones, which I have written down for you. When the salary is paid, I will give you an extra reward. Quote, Hearing Long Wenji's words, the man quickly thanked him, then turned and left. No one stopped the man from leaving, and no one checked his storage bags. Because there is a spirit stones detector on the table here, as long as the spirit stones are not handed in, the spirit stones detector will send out an alarm. In the spirit stones mine, it is a serious crime to hide spirit stones privately, and once discovered, they must be executed. Therefore, it is rare to find a cultivator with spirit stones privately in the spirit stones mine. Next person, the person standing behind Long Wenji shouted. The people in line continued to move forward. Some have just completed the number specified in the task and passed the level in a thrilling manner. Some are short of a few spirit stones, and the number of tasks in the next cycle will be ruthlessly increased. Others didn't even have a single spirit stones, and they were dragged behind and beaten severely, and then the number of tasks in the next cycle increased. Some, like the previous disciple, overfulfilled the number of tasks in each cycle. The team is decreasing little by little, some people are happy and some are worried. Xu Yufan watched all this quietly. The disciples who came with him all showed expressions of fear and regret. None of them expected that it would be so difficult to mine spirit stones. At this moment, a cultivator who was nearly 50 years old obediently stepped forward. This cultivator is dressed in tatters, has a beard, sunken eyes, and looks extremely sloppy. In the mortal world, he is called a cultivator who looks like a fairy. At this time, he is worse than a beggar, and he doesn't look like a cultivator at all. Sloppy cultivator cultivation base is not high, he looks like the fifth level of chi refining, he is not the first time. 
he took out the storage bag in no time, but lowered his head in fear, not daring to speak. Hey, old man Lee, why are you dawdling, hurry up and hand in this month's spirit stones. The inner disciple on the side shouted loudly. At this moment, old Lee suddenly knelt down and kept kowtowing to Long Wenji. Shouting, Senior Brother Long, I'm sorry, Senior Brother Long, Mr. Lee really tried his best, really tried his best. I haven't mined spirit stones in the past three months. By then, little old man, I have tried my best and failed to find the vein. I beg senior brother Long, give me another chance, spare me this time, spare my old man's life. The next cycle, I will definitely make up for the next cycle, and I will definitely make up the amount of these two cycles. Quote. While talking, he kowtowed, tears and snot all over his face. Seeing this scene, Xu Yufan frowned slightly. Long Wenji stood up, looking at old man Li in front of him blankly. Suddenly, Long Wenji showed a smile. Hee hee, old man Li, let me ask you a question, do you think the number of spirit stones that need to be handed in each cycle is large? This, I'll ask you again, is there a lot of spirit stones that need to be turned in this time? This, I don't know, old man Li replied, you really don't know or dare not say. Long Wenji narrowed his eyes into a line. Old man Lee couldn't help shivering, and said tremblingly, this, this is, a bit higher than the original sect standard. Hee <laughs> hee, very good. Long Wenji clapped his palms with a smile, and then he stopped his smile and said coldly, the original amount stipulated by sect is 3000 yuan per person per cycle, that is, 310 mid-range spirit stones. Know why I increased the number of spirit stones per cycle to 4000 lower tier spirit stones last year? That's because our North Mountain Vein is the largest medium-sized spirit stones mine, and the mining time is not long, and there are countless spirit stones buried underground. For the benefit of sect, I've raised the quest bar by a thousand spirit stones, which fits the bill perfectly. Don't say 1000, even if it is increased by 2000, with the storage capacity of this spirit stones mine. You can do it too. Do you understand, old man Lee? Quote. This. Although old man Lee disagreed in his heart, he didn't dare to refute. Hee <laughs> hee, old man Lee, you think the current spirit stone's mining standard is high. Well, I am the most fair person, and I am most willing to listen to the opinions of fellow seniors. Since you think the standard is set high, I'll ask everyone for their opinions. Quote. Long Wenji raised his head and looked at everyone present. Old man Lee said that the standard I set is too high. So I will ask everyone, tell me, is this year's Spirit Stones mining standard set? Too high. Long Wenji's domineering voice echoed loudly in the square of the mine. There was no answer in the entire square, and it was as silent as the night. A disdainful look appeared on Xu Yufan's face. If you ask such a question, who dares to speak, who dares to offer opinions? After being silent for a while, Long Wenji nodded in satisfaction. Then, he walked around the long table and walked slowly in front of old man Lee. He stretched out his hand to help old man Lee up, and said with a smile. Junior brother Lee, hee hee, look, my senior brother doesn't set a high standard. Everyone is very satisfied with the current number of tasks, no one objected, no task has objection. Among the more than a hundred people, only you can say that the standard is set high. From my point of view, it was you who were lazy and spent three months sleeping instead of mining spirit stones, so no spirit stones were handed in, resulting in the inability to complete the task. Quote. Old man Lee's body began to tremble violently. The hundreds of minor disciples below looked at old man Lee expressionlessly, without any emotion, as if they were looking at a dead person. Junior brother Lee, do you know who I hate the most? Long Wenji's eyes turned cold. The person who hates making excuses the most, and the person who shirks responsibility in the end, is obviously that you didn't work hard and didn't complete the task, but you want to push the responsibility to me and everyone. You, are hopeless. Quote, old man Lee's face became pale, his body staggered, and he almost fell to the ground. Old man Lee felt cold and cold, and the entire Bayshan mind knew that when senior brother Long said the words, you, are hopeless, his fate was already doomed, and he was doomed to be deprived of his life by senior brother Long. Ah, I beg senior brother Long, just spare me once. Just show mercy, spare my life, spare my life. Old Lee knelt down again, weeping bitterly. HMPH, 
last cycle, you didn't turn in a single spirit stones, I just made you suffer. This is the second cycle, and you haven't handed in another spirit stones. Six months, half a year, even a blind man can touch a spirit stone's head. And you didn't hand in a piece of it abruptly, do you really think I'm an ass? Immortal stuff, quote. Long Wenji looked grim and angry. Wa Fei, Lin Feng, what are you still doing in a daze, quickly pull this old thing down, don't dirty my eyes. Long Wenji yelled at Wa Fei and Lin Tian. Yes, senior brother Long, I will take old Li to the law enforcement hall to receive his punishment. The two cultivators of the sixth level of qi refining who were waiting at the side took orders, came up and grabbed Lao Li's head, and dragged Lao Li's head to the back like a dead dog. After a while, Lao Li's cries and screams came from behind the square. Suddenly, Xu Yufan suddenly, at this moment, Long Wenji looked at Xu Yufan, his eyes were deep and cold. Xu Yufan didn't have much, he looked at Long Wenji squarely, and looked at him. The eyes of the two collided together in the air, shooting out strong sparks. After a while, Long Wenji showed a playful smile, and then looked away. Continue, Long Wenji shouted. The crowd continued to turn in spirit stones. Time passed little by little, and when the last mining disciple put the storage bag on the table, the sun had already set. Calling all the disciples back to the square, Long Wenji stood up. Okay. That's the end of the three-month spirit stones collection for today. Juniors who have exceeded the number of spirit stones, I hope you will continue to work hard in the next three months. Juniors who have just completed the number of spirit stones, I also hope that you will work harder in the next three months and strive to exceed the quota. As for those juniors who didn't complete the task, you have to remember what happened to old Lee today. Okay, everyone, go back and rest. You have three days to rest. Except that you can't go out, you can do everything else. Quote. After Long Wenji finished speaking, the person next to his ear called Lin Feng inner disciple said a few words. Lin Feng glanced at Xu Yufan and nodded frequently. After Long Wenji finished speaking, he left the square with the other inner disciples. And the mining disciples in the plaza also dispersed one after another. Lin Feng, who received Long Wenji's order, came over and said to the person who brought Xu Yufan and a dozen people in. Senior brother Long asked you to bring them to him, he is going to host a banquet for the new junior brother. Yes, senior brother Lin. The disciple said hastily. Um, Lin Feng replied, turned and left. Let's go, brother Long is going to host a banquet to welcome you, tisk tisk, you really have a meeting, this is the first time I've seen you in these two years. The disciple led the way while talking. A group of people followed the disciple for about 200 meters and came to a luxurious house. Everyone in Xu Yufan clicked their tongues, they never thought that there would be such a luxurious house in this mine. Ha ha, this Long Wenji really enjoys it. At this time, the disciple stopped, pointed to the manor and said, this is the residence of our senior brother Long. Tonight's banquet is also here. Let's go in. Xu Yufan and others walked in behind the disciple. Entering the courtyard, you can smell a strong aroma of wine and delicious food. Smell good. Someone couldn't help swallowing, and couldn't help but say something. When I came to the hall, the lights were brilliant, and a group of people were sitting inside, chatting. Long Wenji sat on the main seat, smiling, and seemed to be in a good mood. Beside him sat two other disciples dressed in Qianyuanzong inner sect costumes. Never seen it on the square before. The table in front of them was covered with a dazzling array of dishes, all of which smelled tempting, and everyone who watched them swallowed, eager to rush up and eat a few mouthfuls. Senior Brother Long, the new minor disciple has been brought here. The disciple who brought Xu Yufan and others in took a step forward and said respectfully to Long Wenji. Oh, yeah, Long Wenji turned his head to look at the crowd, smiled, and stood up. Juniors, take your seats quickly, Long has been waiting for you for a long time. The appearance of a senior brother. Seeing this, Xu Yufan couldn't help but sneered in his heart. If he didn't have the cruel and ruthless side of the square, he would have really believed in the hypocrisy of Long Wenji. Everyone else glanced at each other and thanked each other with cupped hands. Thank you, senior brother Long, thank you, senior brother Long. After finishing speaking, he walked towards the empty seat in the hall. Only Xu Yufan fell last. 
I wanted to walk towards the empty seat at the end, but I heard Long Wenji speak. Hey, this must be junior brother Xu Yufan, Cheng Deacon has already mentioned it to me. Come, sit next to senior brother, senior brother Xu Ben gets close. Quote. Xu Yufan frowned when he heard this, it was indeed Cheng Kui's man. After thinking for a while, Xu Yufan raised his feet and walked forward. As he walked, he said, then Xu is welcome. Ha ha, junior brother Xu is really bold. Seeing Xu Yufan's actions, Long Wenji laughed. An inner disciple who was originally sitting next to Long Wenji on the left quickly got up and gave up his seat. Xu Yufan walked to Long Wenji's left and sat down without any hesitation. This scene fell into the eyes of other people, and they were shocked. Can't help but think, who is this Xu Yufan, who is so arrogant in front of senior brother Long, he really doesn't know how to live or die. With senior brother Long's status, he can sit casually. Long Wenji still had a smile on his face, showing no dissatisfaction at all. Okay, all juniors, sit down and eat, let's chat while eating. Long Wenji greeted everyone. Yes, senior brother Long. All the disciples responded one after another. Come on, junior brother Shu, senior brother will have a toast with you first. Long Wenji raised a glass of spiritual fruit wine and said to Shu Yufan. Please, senior brother Long. Shu Yufan was not polite. Raise your glass and collide with it. Drank it down. Seeing this, Long Wenji raised his head and gulped it down. Drank it down. He he, junior brother Shu is a good drinker. Long Wenji praised him. Senior brother Long is not bad either. Xu Yufan also responded. Ha ha ha. Long Wenji laughed out loud, feeling quite happy. Seeing this, Xu Yufan felt a sneer in his heart. This Long Wenji seemed to be a very well-mannered person. Come, let's eat. This is a delicacy prepared by senior brother Long for you, so don't waste it. Long Wenji waved his hand boldly and said. Everyone started to eat and drink pushing and changing cups, it was very lively. Hee <laughs> hee, junior brother Shu, I really didn't expect that it's really rare for you to have reached the seventh level of the Qi refining stage not long after you just started. With junior brother Shu's qualifications, he will definitely become a pillar of our Qianyuan sect in the future. Long Wenji raised a glass of wine and said with a smile. Where is that, senior brother Long is ridiculously praised. Junior brother is not talented, and his aptitude is extremely poor. It is already a fluke to be able to cultivate to the seventh level of the Qi refining stage. It is not comparable to senior brother Long. Xu Yufan is also very happy said. His own aptitude is only seventh grade, Cheng Kui absolutely told Long Wenji. Now that Long Wenji is praising him like this, it is obviously a mockery. Naturally, Xu Yufan counterattacked tacitly. Ha ha. Junior brother Shu, don't talk about flattery. You actually came to my spirit stone's mine in Bashan. Senior brother will rely on you in the future. Long Wenji laughed, and drank the spirit fruit wine in his glass. Time passed quickly, and at midnight, the banquet officially ended. Like everyone else, Shu Yufan was placed in a low-rise house. These houses are dilapidated and shabby, no one has lived in them for a long time, and the inside smells of decay and mildew. As soon as Xu Yufan entered the house, he smelled a stench. Xu Yufan frowned, this is really not a place for people to live. But due to the situation, we can only clean up simply, and make it for a few days. After cleaning the house, Xu Yufan lay on the bed. He hadn't entered the Great Thousand World. When he first came to the Spirit Stone's mine in Bashan, he couldn't guarantee that no one would be watching him. Just to be careful, don't go into Great Thousand World tonight. Xu Yufan did not take the medicine pill to meditate, but was examining his own situation. The entire Bashan Spirit Stone's mine is closed by formation, and no one can leave the Spirit Stone's mine except for tokens entering and exiting, or cultivators like the Foundation Establishment period that welcome sect today. Of course, it is not easy for outsiders to attack. I am now being targeted by Long Wenji, based on what I have known about Long Wenji for most of the day. This guy is ferocious and has a ruthless nature, but there is one thing, that is, he is a famous teacher. That is to say, he has to find a reason for himself first in everything he does. Killing is no exception. According to this law, Xu Yufan believed that Long Wenji would not directly kill himself, 
but would manipulate other aspects to make himself make mistakes, and then he would justifiably get rid of himself. The entire spirit stone's mind cannot reveal much about itself, the easiest thing is the number of spirit stones mined every three months. In other words, Long Wenji will probably start in this regard, such as raising the standard for submitting spirit stones each time, or arranging himself to mine in mines where spirit stones are scarce. Apart from this, other aspects are not easy to achieve. After thinking for half an hour, Xu Yufan felt that guessing would be a waste of brain cells, so Xu Yufan simply stopped guessing. He directly took out two top-grade qi refining pills from the storage bag, put them in his mouth, and began to meditate and refine. One night passed in the blink of an eye, driven by a large number of top-grade qi refining pills, Xu Yufan's method. His strength has improved a lot, and he is getting closer and closer to the ninth floor of qi refining. As soon as the sun was shining, Xu Yufan walked out of the moldy house and walked towards Long Wenji's luxurious manor. According to yesterday's memory, Xu Yufan walked slowly. Along the way, I met many disciples. Most of these disciples were mining disciples, all of them had sallow faces, tattered clothes, and tired faces. While walking, Xu Yufan observed the bodies of this group of disciples, and found that many mining disciples had slight injuries on their bodies. Those should have encountered danger while mining, or suffered injuries caused by falling stones above the mine. He walked in a hurry, but he sighed inwardly, it seems that the spirit stones in this vein are really not easy to dig. Although this spirit stones mine is full of spiritual chi, there are also a lot of rewards issued by sect every month. But because the number of spirit stones that need to be turned in each cycle is increasing, this has caused many disciples to be so miserable. Half a quarter of an hour later, Xu Yufan came to the luxurious manor where the banquet was held last night. Brother Xu, Brother Long is already waiting for you, you go in. The disciple guarding the door saw Xu Yufan coming, and immediately said respectfully. Obviously, he received Long Wenji's order. Xu Yufan nodded, pushed the door open and entered. At this moment, Long Wenji was sitting in the main seat and drinking tea, when he saw Xu Yufan coming in, he didn't respond at all. After a long time, Long Wenji put down his teacup, stood up and said. Brother Xu, you're here. Yeah, I'm coming. Xu Yufan seemed to reply meaningfully. Long Wenji smiled slightly, that's right, there are two days left for the mining disciples to re-enter the mine to dig spirit stones. Although I hit it off with junior brother Xu, after all, junior brother Xu was exiled here, so it is inevitable to dig spirit stones. Quote. Having said that, he paused on purpose. Seeing that Xu Yufan didn't respond, Long Wenji continued, So, after two days, junior brother Xu will still have to go into the mine to dig spirit stones like other disciples. After finishing speaking, a pair of eyes fixed on Xu Yufan. Xu Yufan smiled faintly, Of course I know this. Ha ha, as long as junior brother Xu knows it in his heart. Long Wenji laughed loudly. Then he resumed his serious expression, of course, the younger brother should not complain, you know, I. Although he is the person in charge of the spirit stones mine in Bashan, he is also a disciple of sect, and everything must be done in accordance with sect's resolution. Quote. Xu Yufan remained calm. Junior brother naturally understands. That's good. Long Wenji nodded, and then said, since the younger brother knows everything, then the senior brother will send someone to take the younger brother to collect the mining tools. Xu Yufan cupped hands. Well, please trouble brother Long. Long Wenji waved his hand and called out the door. Lin Feng, come in and take junior brother Xu to get the tools needed for mining. Yes, senior brother Long. As soon as the words fell, there was a rush of footsteps outside the door. Then a familiar figure walked in. It was Lin Feng whom I met yesterday. Brother Xu. Please follow me, Lin Feng said to Xu Yufan cupped hands. Xu Yufan nodded, cupped hands towards Long Wenji, then turned around and followed Lin Feng to leave. Looking at Xu Yufan's back, Long Wenji's eyes flickered fiercely, but then disappeared without a trace, turning into a gentle and refined appearance. Lin Feng led Xu Yufan through the hall and came to a wide yard. In the yard, there are various tools. Brother Xu, this is the office of the Spirit Stones Mine in Bashan. Brother Zhao Xinhu is in charge of receiving mining equipment and completing identity registration here. Xu Yufan nodded, but did not speak. Stepping into the house with Lin Feng, 
there was a muscular young man in a gorgeous brocade robe sitting inside. With his head down, Xu Yufan and Lin Feng came in without asking him to look up. Brother Zhao, this is Brother Xu that senior brother Long asked me to bring here. Lin Feng cupped hands said. Zhao Xinhu looked up at the two of them, Xu Yufan recognized each other at a glance, it turned out to be the young man who sat on Long Wenji's left last night and finally gave up his seat to himself. Zhao Xinhu glanced at Xu Yufan up and down, and then there was some disdain in his eyes, and then he said, Oh, it's junior brother Xu, he's here to collect the mining equipment. Wait, let me get someone to prepare. Quote, with that said, he got up and left. After a while, Zhao Xinhu returned again with an extra storage bag in his hand. Throwing the storage bag at Xu Yufan, said, This is for you, it contains the mining equipment you need, as well as your identification. You check it out, quote, Xu Yufan didn't pick it up, and it still fell to the ground from the storage bag. Lin Fengyu and Zhao Xinhu were stunned. Xu Yufan stood there without moving. When Zhao Xinhu saw this, displeasure floated on his face, and he said coldly, What? Isn't junior brother Xu the seventh level of qi refining? Could it be that he can't even hold a storage bag? Storage bag? What storage bag? Xu Yufan pretended to be puzzled and asked. Zhao Xinhu was stunned, but didn't understand well. What do you mean? Didn't I throw you a storage bag? Why didn't you take it? Xu Yufan showed a puzzled look. Is that for me? Zhao Xinyu's face was gloomy. What do you mean? If not to whom? It's not interesting. I thought you were for the floor. Xu Yufan said lightly. To the floor, Zhao Xinhu got angry and said coldly, You dare to play me. Tricking you. Xu Yufan glanced at Zhao Xinhu disdainfully. Xu didn't, Xu didn't see someone give me the storage bag. Instead, he saw you give the storage bag to the floor. Zhao Xinhu became even more annoyed when he heard this. His action just now was intended to humiliate Xu Yufan. He deliberately threw the storage bag and asked Xu Yufan to pick it up. Unexpectedly, the other party didn't pick it up and let the storage bag fall to the ground. Zhao Xinhu was even happier, so he could force Xu Yufan to bow his head to pick it up. Well now, Xu Yufan actually said that the storage bag is for the floor, directly cracking his little trick. You mean you don't want these mining equipment? Zhao Xinhu said with a gloomy face. It would be better if the kid didn't want it. Throughout the spirit stone's mine, he has never heard of anyone who can dig out spirit stones without mining equipment. Xu Yufan looked at Zhao Xinhu with a smile. Brother Zhao, isn't he kidding me? Have you ever heard of mining without mining equipment? Do you really think that I, a newcomer here for the first time, is a cultivator in the foundation establishment period? Quote. The words are full of irony. Zhao Xinhu was blocked by Xu Yufan and had nothing to say. After choking for a while, he shouted angrily, Xu Yufan, you dare to mock me. I mocked you. Which ear of yours heard me mocking you? Why did I mock you? Xu Yufan spread his hands and said innocently, HMPH, you. Even being exiled here dares to be arrogant. Zhao Xinhu gritted his teeth and said, originally wanted to kill Xu Yufan, but thinking of Long Wenji, Zhao Xinhu forcibly stopped the urge to do so. Long Wenji had explained earlier that he wanted Xu Yufan to enjoy himself in the mine, and no one was allowed to kill him except him. Zhao Xinhu has been with Long Wenji for two years, and he is very aware of his senior brother's temper, so naturally he dare not disobey it. Let me tell you, I already gave you this storage bag. If you refuse to take the storage bag away, don't blame me for not being able to dig up the spirit stones. Zhao Xinhu figured it out. Anyway, the own thing has been done, so whether Xu Yufan wants it or not is none of his business. Oh, is that so? The corner of Xu Yufan's mouth twitched slightly. Did brother Zhao say to hand over the storage bag to me? But I didn't see senior brother Zhao handing over the storage bag to me. What do you mean? Zhao Xinhu glared at him. He has already thrown the storage bag to Xu Yufan, isn't that just handing the storage bag to him? What do you mean? Xu Yufan smiled even brighter. Ha ha, brother Zhao, don't you understand? You just threw the storage bag to the ground, not me. Zhao Xinhu was stunned when he heard this, Xu Yufan was obviously messing around. You are courting death, Zhao Xinhu said coldly. Xu Yufan said indifferently. Yes, Xu is looking for death, but do you dare to let me die? After speaking, 
Xu Yufan looked at Zhao Xinhu with disdain. From various signs, Xu Yufan has long seen Long Wenji's careful thinking. He wants to torture himself and then kill himself. That is to say, before he went down the mine, he was absolutely safe. Although Zhao Xinhu had beheaded Xu Yufan hundreds of times in his mind, he really didn't dare to attack Xu Yufan now. In that case, Long Wenji would definitely not let him go. Zhao Xinhu took a deep breath and snorted coldly, What do you want? Oh, softened. This is like a snake being pinched seven inches. It's very simple. I hope senior brother Zhao will pick up the storage bag on the ground and put it in junior brother's hands. Xu Yufan said flatly. Zhao Xinyu's face twitched a few times. I am the second in command of the Spirit Stone's mine, second only to. Long Wenji's power figure was reduced to being asked to pick up things by Xu Yufan. You're dreaming. Zhao Xinhu immediately refused without even thinking about it. Dream, Xu Yufan smiled contemptuously. Since we can't do it, then let's go to senior brother Long and let him judge. You, Zhao Xinhu glared at Xu Yufan, his eyes were full of resentment. He knew that if he went to Long Wenji, he would definitely not be able to please him. It's not because Long Wenji doesn't protect himself, but because Long Wenji feels that he can't beat Xu Yufan and thinks he is a waste. At this moment, Lin Feng, who was watching the play, couldn't stand it any longer. He walked between the two of them and bent down to pick up the storage bag while talking. Ahem, two senior brothers, don't quarrel over such a trivial matter, I'll pick it up, I'll pick it up. Naturally, Lin Feng's intention was not to smooth things over, he wanted to take the opportunity to curry favor with Zhao Xinhu. Xu Yufan naturally saw it. Junior brother Lin, you are not qualified enough to pick it up, get the hell out of here. Xu Yufan yelled loudly, Lin Feng's heart trembled, and he abruptly stopped picking up the storage bag. Xu Yufan, you are too presumptuous, do you really think I, Zhao Xinhu, are afraid of you? Zhao Xinhu roared angrily. Brother Zhao, let me say it again, and for the last time, will you give this storage bag to me or to the floor under my feet? Xu Yufan's face was solemn, revealing a faint murderous intent. Zhao Xinhu stared at Xu Yufan closely. Okay, very good, Xu Yufan, Zhao has taken over today's matter. After a long time, Zhao Xinhu squeezed out a word between his teeth, bent down and picked up the storage bag. Then he handed the storage bag to Xu Yufan. Xu Yufan took it cheerfully, and said lightly, Brother Zhao, it's useless for you to remember, what can you do to me today? You will still have to bend down to pick up the storage bag for me in the future. After speaking, Xu Yufan walked out of the chore yard without looking back. Behind him Zhao Xinyu's expression froze. Red and white. Looking at the back of Xu Yufan leaving, my heart is filled with strong hatred and humiliation. Xu Yufan, you wait, I, Zhao Xinhu, will definitely make your life worse than death. Zhao Xinhu clenched his fists fiercely. Lin Feng at the side was already trembling with fright. Back at the residence, Xu Yufan emptied out all the items in the storage bag. There are not many things, only eight in total. A stack of talisman papers for lighting. Three bottles of Bigu pill, ten pills each, exactly three months. A pickaxe magical item for mining spirit stones. Finally, two sets of overalls. There is also a jade slip. Xu Yufan probed divine sense into jade slip. There are not many records on it, except to adopt the standard of spirit stones and the warning that spirit stones cannot be stolen. Turn in the spirit stones in three months, 10,000 low-tier spirit stones. Xu Yufan frowned, there was more than twice the gap with the 4,000 low-rank spirit stones he knew. Could it be a mistake? Xu Yufan wondered to himself. Soon, he denied it. I only guessed last night that Long Wenji's method was to increase the spirit stone standard to be handed in each cycle, and now it seems to be correct. But this increase is more than twice, which is a bit too much. At this moment, Long Wenji's voice sounded outside the door. Is junior brother Xu in there? Brother Long, please come in. Xu Yufan opened the door and said to Long Wenji who was standing at the door with a smile. Long Wenji walked into the house and immediately asked, did junior brother Shu receive the mining equipment? HMPH, I asked knowingly. I sneered in my heart, but I still had to do the superficial work. Already received, Shu Yufan said with a slight smile. That's great, I must have read the contents of Jade Slip. Long Wenji said. 
Xu Yufan nodded, well, I've already seen it. If that's the case, junior brother Xu must have doubts in his heart. Long Wenji said. Xu Yufan narrowed his eyes, he he, this is to test whether he will have a seizure. It's true that I'm a bit puzzled. Junior brother doesn't understand why senior brother Long increased the standard for the spirit stones to be handed in. Xu Yufan followed Long Wenji's words. He he, junior brother doesn't know, most of the mining disciples in the Baishan mine are at the fifth level of the Qi refining period, and the highest is only at the peak of the fifth level of Qi refining. But the younger brother is the real deal. The seventh floor of the Qi refining period is also an outstanding inner discipline of sect. If it is based on general standards, it is naturally unfair to other juniors. Therefore, in order to be fair, this senior brother has no choice but to set a standard for you to hand in 10,000 lower tier spirit stones every three months. Quote, Long Wenji looked like he was thinking of Xu Yufan with good intentions. I see. When Xu Yufan heard this, he sneered in his heart. This is not only going to murder my body, but also my mind, so I completely agree. This Long Wenji is indeed a proud and arrogant person. He <laughs> he. I don't worry if I can understand my brother. Although it is 10,000 low-rank spirit stones, but with my strong strength, it is naturally not a problem. At most, it will be a little hard work. Long Wenji's face was full of smiles. I don't care if I hit the hammer, my mother, I will refund, the money. Ah, it seems that no payment was made. Okay, I'm going down to the mine tomorrow, so I'll get ready, so I won't bother you. After Long Wenji left, Xu Yufan closed the door and arranged the Xiaoxuan Tianzhen that he bought in the temporary market last time in the room. Compared with Formation, Formation Disc is much less powerful, but it is more convenient, even a cultivator who does not understand Formation can arrange it. After arranging the Xiaoxuan Heaven Formation and placing the Spirit Stones at the Eye of the Formation, Xu Yufan entered the Great Thousand World. Vajra continues its pharmacist path. Jerry is also practicing desperately. Xu Yufan wandered around inside, feeling extremely bored. Simply ran to the pill refining room to refine qi refining pills. It took five batches of qi refining pills to refine before giving up. Just after collecting the last batch of qi refining pills, Jerry's voice rang in his mind. Boss, are you in? This is soul communication. Jerry can't speak yet, so he can only communicate with Xu Yufan through soul. It was difficult for Xu Yufan to accept Jerry's soul communication before, but since he practiced, the art of controlling the spirit, the soul communication with Jerry has become unimpeded. Xu Yufan walked out of the pill refining room. Hey, Xiao Ji, haven't you practiced yet? Jerry scratched his head and said. I just refined a qi refining pill, and I was thinking about taking another one, but I found movement in the pill refining room, so I ran over to have a look. Oh, Xu Yufan nodded then took out the qi refining pill he had just refined and threw it to Jerry. No, 40 qi refining pills and 36 top grade qi refining pills are enough for you for a long time. Jerry's eyes lit up immediately, and he took the qi refining pill with his tiny claws. Boss, you are so kind, exclaimed Jerry excitedly. You little mouse, eat less of the spiritual herbs from the medicine garden in the future. Xu Yufan tapped Jerry's head and said, Jerry held his painful head and stuck out his tongue. By the way, boss, you said a few days ago that you were going to work as a miner in the Spirit Stones mine. I wonder if you have gone. Jerry asked suddenly. Xu Yufan nodded and said, I've come to the Spirit Stones mine in Bashan, and I'm going to mine tomorrow. Hey, arrived at the Spirit Stones mine so soon. Jerry asked a little. Accident, it's only been a few days, and the boss has arrived at the Spirit Stones mine. Therefore, Xu Yufan told Xiao Ji what happened in detail. At some point, Vajra squatted aside and listened. Vajra also slammed the ground hard a few times when he heard that the number of spirit stones turned in per cycle was more than twice that of the others. If it hadn't been unable to leave the Great Thousand World on its own, it would have gone out and torn Long Wenji and the others to pieces. After listening to Xu Yufan's narration, Vajra lost his temper again. Boss, this Long Wenji is too insidious and despicable to frame you like this. This kind of person should let him disappear from this world forever. Vajra swore and slapped the ground hard with her claws. Let's go, let's go out now and blast all these fools into scum. Xu Yufan smiled and shook his head. 
This guy is really a stick, if killing Long Wenji was useful, he would have done it already, and it would be Vajra's turn. Jerry gave Vajra an idiot look, and then said to Shu Yu Fan in psychic communication, Boss, don't worry, I will help you get the spirit stones. Chapter 71 You help me, how can you help me? Yes, third child, how can you help the boss? Shu Yu Fan Vajra asked questions together. Hey hey, Jerry smiled treacherously, Boss, just wait and see, when you enter the mine, just come in and find me. Shu Yu Fan and Vajra looked at each other, but Jerry refused to say, and there was nothing they could do. Comma. The next morning, Shu Yu Fan got up early, washed up, and walked out of the room. Just as Shu Yu Fan stepped out of the room, Lin Feng came. Senior brother Shu, senior brother Long asked me to inform you that you can follow the other disciples into the mine. Lin Feng greeted the guests and said to Shu Yu Fan. Okay, we have junior brother Lao Lin. Shu Yu Fan replied politely. Senior brother Shu, you are welcome, I will go to work first. Lin Feng said and turned to leave. Following the old disciple of mining, Shu Yu Fan walked slowly all the way to the entrance of the mine. Next to Shu Yu Fan, a middle-aged disciple at the fifth level of Qi Refining looked at Shu Yu Fan curiously, and after walking for a while, the middle-aged disciple finally couldn't bear it anymore. Senior brother, your clothes are clean and your skin is fair. You are new here, right? Asked the middle-aged disciple. Um, Shu Yu Fan nodded and didn't say much. My name is Li Chang, a disciple of the outer sect of Qianyuanzong. I don't know your senior name. Li Chang asked again. My surname is Shu, and my first name is Yu Fan. So it's senior brother Shu, sorry for your disrespect. Li Chang said with a smile. Shu Yu Fan just smiled and didn't speak. Brother Shu came to the mine to earn spirit stones because he couldn't enter the inner sect, right? Li Cheng was obviously acquainted, even if Shu Yufan didn't speak, he could find topics to talk about. That's right, Shu Yufan nodded, speaking calmly. He didn't want to expose his exile. Hearing Shu Yufan's admission, Li Cheng sighed and said, Brother Shu, the spirit stones here are not easy to earn. Why did junior brother Li say that? Shu Yufan asked. Senior brother Shu, you have also seen that most of the mining disciples here are pale and emaciated. I've only been here a little over a year, and I've gone from a big fatty to this. There is a saying in Bashan mine, there is no one. Fatty can walk out of Bashan mine. Quote, Li Chang's tone was full of sadness. Shu Yu Fan didn't show any fear, instead he smiled a little bit embarrassingly. Li Chang didn't care, he continued. The mining disciples here are very hard, the mine is dark, and the spirit stones are hard to find. Each mining disciple is also burdened with the task of spirit stones every three months. So under various circumstances, many mining disciples look like this. Quote, Why are spirit stones so difficult to dig? Brother Long didn't say that this mine hasn't been dug for a long time, shouldn't it be easy to dig spirit stones? Xu Yufan asked puzzledly. Li Cheng gave a wry smile shook his head and said, Brother Shu doesn't know something, although this spirit stones mine has been developed not long ago, it is still not so easy to dig out spirit stones, senior brother Long has never been in a mine, why? Know the actual situation. After a little thought, Shu Yufan understood that Long Wenji was in a high position and didn't understand the real situation at all. Most of the standard of 3,000 spirit stones per three months set by sect can barely be fulfilled. But since Brother Long added a thousand spirit stones every three months, many people couldn't complete it. Quote. Shu Yu Fan listened quietly without interrupting. But I said in my heart, I was directly raised to ten thousand spirit stones, so I can find someone to reason with. At the time when one thousand spirit stones were added, most of the people dug up just over three thousand spirit stones, which is a few hundred gaps from four thousand. It is inevitable to suffer a meal of flesh and blood. In the second cycle, many people learned to be smart. As long as they did not dig enough 4,000 spirit stones, they would hide the spirit stones in the mine, and they would not hand in any of them. Turn in the remaining spirit stones next time. In this way, the task can be avoided for two consecutive cycles. Quote. Shu Yu Fan could only smile helplessly after hearing this. Every mining disciple has signed a contract with sect, ranging from two years to ten years. It is absolutely impossible to leave the Bashan mine in advance before the contract expires. Don't even think about running away, 
the only way out is to wait for the contract to end. Fortunately, I only have half a year left, that is, after the last two clock cycles, I will be able to leave this Bayshan mine. Li Cheng's face is full of joy. Seems to be very satisfied that he didn't choose to sign more when he signed the contract. Okay, senior brother Shu, we are about to enter the mine, take care of yourself. Looking at the mine entrance less than 20 meters away from them, Li Cheng said to Shu Yufan solemnly. Well, junior brother Li, I regret it for a while. The two walked into the mine under the watchful eye of the inner disciple of the guard at the entrance. In the mine, the light is very poor, but fortunately, everyone is a cultivator, and they can walk freely with their vision beyond ordinary people. There are many passages in the mine. Xu Yufan came here for the first time and just walked along the passages under his feet. And in front of him and behind him, from time to time, mining disciples turned into the passage next to him. As for Li Chang, he has long been separated from him. Xu Yufan kept going like this, and encountered a dead end and turned a few passages. Finally, after half an hour, Xu Yufan came to a slightly wider space. Looking around, there is no other way except the passage that came in. Obviously, this is another dead end. Xu Yufan was not in a hurry to back out, but instead found a rock and sat down on it. At this time, there were no other mining disciples around Xu Yufan, and the entire Baishan mine was extremely vast, with no less than a thousand tunnels, and the mere one hundred or so mining disciples did not know where they were distributed. Xu Yufan checked the surroundings with divine sense, and the spirit power fluctuated as usual, which means there must be no spirit stones around. At this moment, his divine sense gave him back a magic power fluctuation not far away. There are other cultivators, logically, it shouldn't be such a coincidence that someone would come here to meet him by chance. Xu Yufan checked again carefully, and frowned, it turned out to be two people. After pondering for a while, Xu Yufan understood that he was being followed. Quote, According to the unspoken rules in the mine, as long as there are people found in the mine, the later people cannot continue to enter. After all, there are no restrictions on mines, and everyone is for spirit stones, so they are naturally in a state of hostility because of their interests. In order to allow everyone to mine spirit stones with peace of mind, there is an unspoken rule of one channel per person. Now Xu Yufan has found a stalker behind him, and there are two of them. Except for those who have evil intentions, he can't think of it. There are other possibilities. Xu Yufan pondered for a moment, then slapped his forehead with a slap, and entered the Great Thousand World. Not long after, two figures appeared in the empty cave. Hey, junior brother Lin, that kid has disappeared. Your tracking powder is colorless and odorless. You have never missed it. How did he escape this time? One of them said in surprise when he saw that the cave was empty. Senior brother Wa Fei, this. I don't know about this. The person called junior brother Lin stammered. These two people are Long Wenji's henchmen Wa Fei and Lin Feng. Under Long Wenji's order, they came to the mine to monitor Xu Yufan, but they lost it as soon as they entered. The faces of Wa Fei and the two of them were obviously not very good looking. If they missed, they would be scolded by Long Wenji if they went back, and they would suffer flesh and blood at worst. Thinking of senior brother Chu Zhang whipping the whip, the two couldn't help but tremble. Quick, try it with a scent bug. Wa Fei said to Lin Feng. Oh, that's right, we still have incense smelling bugs. As he spoke, Lin Feng opened the spirit beast bag, and immediately flew out a flying insect the size of a thumb, which was the famous scent smelling insect from Shu Immortal World. The smelling worm flew around the cave, and then figured out where Shu Yufan was when he entered the Great Thousand World. This is, there is no way to smell the insects. Wa Fei was surprised. That master Shu, Shu Waste, he must have some magical item or cultivation technique that can block the smell, otherwise he would not be able to escape our smelling insect powder. Lin Feng's face was livid and his teeth were clenched. He knew that he hadn't done a good job in this trivial matter, and it would definitely be difficult to return to Long Wenji's place. Not only that, but I'm afraid he will lose senior brother Long's trust and be marginalized in the end. Let's go, let's look for other passages, even if he leaves, he can't go very far. Wa Fei clenched his fist tightly, greeted Lin Feng, and continued to search ahead. How fast can a newcomer walk, look forward, maybe smell the insects and find his smell again? 
The two walked out of the cave, one behind the other, and ran towards a fort not far away. Xu Yufan, who entered the Great Thousand World, wanted to ask Jerry how to get the spirit stones, but regretfully found that the guy was sleeping and practicing again. After staying in the Great Thousand World for a quarter of an hour, Xu Yufan guessed that the other party had left the cave, so Xu Yufan told Vajra not to continue practicing when Jerry woke up, and then left the Great Thousand World and returned to the cave. The figure appeared in the cave, and there was no one around. Xu Yufan breathed a sigh of relief. Immediately afterwards, he released divine sense to look around. Since, controlling the spirit, Xu Yufan's soul power is much stronger than the same rank cultivator, and the detection range of divine sense is also wider. Soon, divine sense rushed out of the cave and covered the surrounding mines. Hey, those two guys are actually in the passage next to them. A smile appeared on Xu Yufan's face, and then he used movement technique to sweep towards the passage on the left, and he came near the passage after a while. He stopped his figure, exuded divine sense to the extreme, took a full view of the nearby passages, and determined the target in a short while. Well, they should be in that aisle next door. Xu Yufan smiled slightly, and leapt forward like lightning. Soon, he came to the entrance of the passage, and divine sense glanced past him. A thick wave of magic power came from the depths of the tunnel. Sure enough, he did not detect wrongly, it was the passageway in front of him. Hey, sure enough, it's inside, daddy wants to see who gets my idea. After finishing speaking, Xu Yufan swept aside and hid himself to observe the entrance of the cave. After a while, Hua Fei and Lin Feng came out from the depths of the passage. Ha, huh, it turned out to be them. Xu Yufan was startled and he recognized Hua Feng and Lin Fei at a glance. Recognizing the two, Xu Yufan did not act rashly. Strange, there is no sign of that kid inside, where did he go? Hua Fei muttered to himself. The passage they entered was also a dead end, and there were two dead passages in succession, making them even more puzzled as to why Xu Yufan had disappeared. HMPH, never mind, let's keep searching, but we can't let him escape. Lin Feng snorted coldly. Okay, keep looking. The two were about to go back and search for the adjacent passage, at this moment, Lin Feng frowned slightly. Senior brother Hua, I seem to smell the scent of tracking powder that I put on Xu Yufan's body. Lin Feng said to Hua Fei. Where is it? Hua Feng was surprised. Xu Yufan who was hiding in the dark was startled, he never expected that Lin Feng would leave a special fragrance on him. Then it dawned on him. No wonder they were able to follow him so easily, Yuan turned out to be relying on the tracking fans left on him. Just as Xu Yufan was about to return to the Great Thousand World, Lin Feng pointed to where he was. It's in that direction. Hua Fei turned his head to look, and then showed a disappointed look. Xu Yufan disappeared in that direction, you smelled it. It's just a taste left over from before. Quote, Lin Feng thought about it for a while, and agreed with Hua Fei's words. That's right, what Brother Hua said is also reasonable. It seems that Xu Yufan is a cunning guy. He must have known that I planted tracking powder on him, so he did it on purpose. After speaking, Lin Feng couldn't help shaking his head. Okay, let's find a few more passages. If we can't find them, we have to go back and report to Senior Brother Long for him to make a decision. Hua Fei said, and then the two entered the passage again. Xu Yufan stood in the distance, watched them leave, and began to meditate. These two were sent by Long Wenji to assassinate me. I hide the cultivation base by myself, and the surface is the seventh layer of qi refining. Wafei's cultivation base is also on the seventh level of qi refining, and Lin Feng is one level lower, which is on the sixth level of qi refining. If they were sent to kill me, they obviously wouldn't send a seven layer or a six layer. Not to mention other things, Cultivation base is quite a cultivator, and the cultivation technique cultivated is the same. It is basically difficult to kill the opponent without relying on foreign objects such as magical item talismans. According to Long Wenji's prudence, he will never do anything he is not sure about. This also shows that Hua Fei and Lin Feng are not here to kill themselves, but to monitor. Xu Yufan had a clear mind and quickly sorted out everything. Although Xu Yufan got rid of Hua Fei and Lin Feng, just now Hua Fei said that if he couldn't find him again, he would go back and report to Long Wenji. In this way, it was directly exposed that he was always on guard against him. 
it is hard to guarantee that Long Wenji will use other methods. After pondering for a moment, Xu Yufan made a decision, instead of being beaten passively, it is better to take the initiative to attack. Get rid of Lin Feng and Hua Fei directly. Although this will expose some strength, it can also hide a lot of things. Thinking of this, Xu Yufan no longer hesitated, turned his magic power, and in a flash, he chased Lin Feng and Hua Fei. At this time, Hua Fei and Lin Feng didn't know anything about it. They just entered the passage when they suddenly felt a violent magic power fluctuation behind them. Someone is chasing us. Lin Feng was taken aback and looked back. Ha! Huh. Hua Fei also looked puzzled. When they entered the passage, they felt a powerful divine sense. When they scanned here, they couldn't find out when this divine sense appeared. Senior brother Hua, hurry up, it's dangerous. Lin Feng said hastily. Yeah, Hua Fei nodded, and the two turned around, trying to get out of the passage. But he heard a chuckle. Junior brother Hua, junior brother Lin, where are you going? Hearing this familiar voice, Lin Feng was startled. Looking back, it was indeed Xu Yufan. At this moment, with a smile on his face and a trace of haze in his eyes, he was staring at the two of them with great interest. Brother Xu, what a coincidence, I ran into you here. Lin Feng forced a smile. Hua Fei had a gloomy face, but he didn't speak. It's really a coincidence. Xu Yufan smiled slightly. Lin Feng's eyes flickered for a moment, then he nodded. Hee hee, senior brother Xu, you. Dot why are you here? Xu Yufan raised his eyebrows. Junior brother Lin, I should be the one asking you this question, why are you here? Hearing this, Lin Feng's heart skipped a beat, and then a look of horror appeared on his face. This, that what, we just happened to. Xu Yufan snorted coldly and said, Junior brother Lin, I'm afraid you came here to stare at me. No, no, absolutely no such meaning, just a coincidence, really just a coincidence. Lin Feng looked embarrassed. Really, I don't think so. Xu Yufan narrowed his eyes. Lin Feng wanted to explain, but was pushed away by Hua Fei, and said in a bad tone, Lin Feng, why are you talking nonsense to him? Xu, that's right, we are here to watch you, what can you do? Quote, from Hua Fei's point of view, Xu Yufan only has seven layers of qi refining, which is the same as his own cultivation base. There are two people on my side, so I won't suffer any disadvantage against Xu Yufan. It's nothing, I just want you to stay here forever. Xu Yufan said lightly. Ha ha, hearing this sentence, Hua Fei couldn't help bursting into laughter. After laughing, Hua Fei looked at Xu Yufan with murderous intent again. I said Xu Yufan, are you brain cramps, why do you let me stay here forever, what kind of onion are you? If Brother Long didn't let me do it, I would kill you today. Quote. Hua Fei's words were full of strong threats. When Xu Yufan heard this, the corners of his mouth slightly turned up. That's right, today I will kill you. As soon as the words fell, Xu Yufan magic power turned, and eight golden sword glows appeared in front of him. Go, Xu. With a wave of Yufan's hand, the golden sword light charged directly at Hua Fei with a sharp sound of piercing through the air. Seeing this scene, Hua Fei turned pale with fright, it was already too late to sacrifice the magical item. So, he hastily cast movement technique to escape. However, it was too late. The golden sword light is extremely fast. PFF. With a soft sound, Hua Fei's body was pierced by the golden sword light, and blood gushed out like a spring, spraying all over the ground, staining the ground at his feet red. Lin Feng stood there blankly. Spike. His senior brother Hua was killed by Xu Yufan with one blow. What strength is this? Xu Yufan's expression became cold. Junior brother Lin, don't panic, you will be next. Hearing this, Lin Feng's body trembled, and he quickly backed away a few steps, his face full of vigilance. He didn't think it was Xu Yufan's joke, it must be true. I, senior brother Xu, you, dot you. Lin Feng spoke incoherently, you, dot you can't kill me. As he spoke, Lin Feng fell to his knees, desperately begging Xu Yufan for mercy. Xu Yufan snorted coldly. Do you want to save your life like this? It's just wishful thinking. As he spoke, he stretched out his hand to grab it, and suddenly, the eight sword lights appeared again, attacking Lin Feng instantly. Seeing this scene, Lin Feng's expression changed suddenly. Brother Xu, you, dot you can't kill me. While talking, 
he applied a layer of magic power shield to himself. I can't kill you. He he, junior brother Lin, I want to tell you that this sentence is the funniest joke I've ever heard recently. I can't kill you, do I wait for you to kill me? Xu Yu Fan looked at Lin Feng with disdain, this person, is too cowardly. Hearing this, Lin Feng's heart beat violently, Brother Xu, please don't kill me. Please don't kill you. Ha, huh, it's late. Xu Yu Fan grasped with five fingers, and eight sword lights roared out, piercing Lin Feng's body instantly. PFF. With a flower of blood, it came out through the body. Lin Feng trembled, vomited blood, and fell to the ground. HMPH. Xu Yu Fan snorted coldly, bending down and tearing off Lin Feng's storage bag, he was about to get it. Wa Fei's storage bag, but out of the corner of his eyes, he saw the spirit beast bag on Lin Feng's waist. Hey, it turned out to be a spirit beast bag. I didn't expect this guy to raise spirit beasts. Xu Yu Fan glanced in surprise, stepped forward and pulled the spirit beast bag into his hands. Then he jumped in front of Wa Fei, and also tore off the storage bag. Xu Yu Fan turned around and left the scene like the wind. About a quarter of an hour later, Xu Yu Fan was sure he was far away from the place where Lin Feng and Wa Fei were killed, so he found a passage and got in. After checking the passage, he entered the Great Thousand World after making sure that there was no one there. As soon as they appeared in the Great Thousand World, the voices of Vajra and Jerry sounded in their ears and mind. Boss, are you back? Boss, boss, Xu Yu Fan looked up at Vajra and Jerry, and said excitedly, Ha ha, you just happened to be here, and you haven't practiced. Come, come, let's count the things in these storage bags. Counting storage bags, what's the meaning? Vajra and Jerry looked at each other with puzzled faces. No, it's these two storage bags. Xu Yu Fan was confused by the demonic beasts on both sides, and dangled the storage bags he had just snatched in the air. Seeing this scene, Vajra and Jerry finally reacted. Boss, which unlucky storage bag did you rob again? Vajra asked with his mouth open. Yes, yes, boss, how many people did you kill for the storage bags? Jerry sent a voice transmission to Xu Yu Fan with the power of his soul. Why are you guys so determined? Make me look like a bandit repairing a mortal world. Xu Yu Fan rolled his eyes at the two demonic beasts. Vajra and Jerry subconsciously glanced at a large pile of storage bags piled up in the corner of the door of the pill refining room. The meaning is obvious. Xu Yu Fan followed their gaze and blushed. I'm doing this in self-defense, it's because they want to intercept and kill me. I was forced to make a move. Quote, since everyone has been killed, it would be a waste not to take the storage bag. I did it by the way, understand. Quote, okay, boss, stop explaining, we all believe you, dot you. Shu Yu Fan, one person and two beasts took out all the items in the storage bag. There were not many things, but there were quite a few spirit stones. In addition to spirit stones, there are some common items, such as bigu pills, identity tags, clothes, and magical items. The magical item medicine pill is given by the master, a fighter among the garbage. Xu Yu Fan didn't like it at all. However, in Lin Feng's storage bag, I found a piece of tattered animal skin paper, which recorded a configuration method called, tracking powder. And also attached two pieces of information. The first is the little tricks to control the incense-smelling insects. The second is the method of cultivating incense-smelling insects. Xu Yu Fan watched it with great interest. According to the records on the animal skin paper, this tracking powder is colorless and odorless, and ordinary cultivators can't smell it. Sprinkled on the cultivator, it can be used for tracking. This, tracking powder, can only be smelled by the refiner at close range. But if the distance is far away, the refiner will also be unable to track it. As long as you want to smell the fragrant insects, you can track them thousands of miles away. According to the records on the animal skin paper, as long as the tracking powder is sprinkled on the target, even if the target flees for 2,000 miles, the incense smelling worm can follow it all the way with its unique sense of smell. Tisk tisk, this thing is a good thing. Shu Yu Fan sighed. To paraphrase a sentence from the previous life, Daddy first asks you to run a hundred meters, or, a thousand miles. Xu Yu Fan put away the animal skin paper, and turned his gaze to the still spirit beast bag. I guess this is the bag that holds the scented insects. 
Xu Yufan picked up the spirit beast bag and was about to open it to have a look when he suddenly thought that the scented insects could fly. I haven't learned how to control it yet, so if I let it out, it won't be running around in the world. You have to learn how to control the smelling insects. After thinking about it, Xu Yufan hung the spirit beast bag around his waist again and took out the animal skin again. Squeak. At this time, Jerry suddenly screamed. Xu Yufan didn't understand because he didn't use the soul transmission. Xiao Jin, what did Xiao Ji say? Xu Yufan turned to ask Vajra. Vajra curled his lips and translated. The third child said, Hey, what kind of medicine pill is this? Why is it so small? Xu Yufan turned his head and saw that Jerry was holding a porcelain bottle with its mouth facing down, and there were seven or eight black objects of the opposite gender on the ground. These black objects are small in size, only the size of the fingernail of the little finger, and have different shapes, obviously not the same item. Rub, isn't this a seed? What is a medicine pill? Oh, dare Jerry mistake the black seeds in a porcelain bottle for a medicine pill. Xu Yufan was sweating profusely, just about to explain, but listen to Vajra teach. Third son, you, this is the seed, spiritual herb seed, what medicine pill, you ignorant ground beetle. Quote, Xu Yufan, this Vajra is really well educated in educating people. Jerry scratched his head in embarrassment and said with his voice, Hey, I thought it was edible. Xiao Ji, the seeds are also edible. Xu Yufan said quietly. Jerry's eyes lit up, and Vajra's huge eyes glared. Third brother, if you dare to eat, I will pull out all your teeth. As he spoke, he snatched the porcelain bottle Jerry was holding, and carefully picked up the seven or eight black seeds. Pharmacist Jin, you are insane. Xu Yufan complained silently in his heart. However, his heart suddenly moved, the seed. Lin Feng, animal skin paper, tracking powder. Uya, the link is. This seed may be the spiritual herb seed for cultivating trace powder. Xu Yufan thought about it carefully and felt that this might be very big. Lin Feng has been in Baishan mine for more than a year and has not left here. Naturally, he cannot be a pill refining teacher, otherwise he would not be sent to Baishan mine. Since it is not a pill refining master, it is naturally impossible to plant spiritual herbs. But there are seeds on his body, and there is a high probability that they are the raw material seeds for making the tracking powder. It's a pity that you can't identify it just by looking at the seeds. Only when it grows can you know what spiritual herb seeds are. Little, ah no, golden pharmacist, hurry up, take those seeds to the medicine garden and plant them. Xu Yufan ordered to Vajra with a serious face. Boss, what do you need to say? Vajra held the bottle tightly, yelled at Xu Yufan, turned around and strode towards the medicine garden. Xu Yufan has black lines all over his head. Squeak. Jerry yelled a few times and followed. Don't steal the leaves of spiritual herbs. Xu Yufan hurriedly said from behind. Jerry waved his long tail to signal Xu Yufan to rest assured. After the two demonic beasts went to the medicine garden, Xu Yufan carefully read the words on the animal skin paper again. After a quarter of an hour, Xu Yufan mastered the method of controlling the smelling insect. Xu Yufan closed his eyes and concentrated on it, silently recited the formula, and separated a ray of soul, which attached to the spirit beast bag. In an instant, Xu Yufan's spirit entered the spirit beast bag. The spirit beast bag is very empty, about two or three cubes in size. Above the spirit beast bag, a pale black bug lurks in it. This is the smelling bug. The whole body of the smelling insect is light black, with three tentacles growing on its head, a pair of transparent wings growing on its back, and eight tiny claws firmly grasping the inner wall of the spirit beast bag. Xu Yufan attached the ray of spirit to the incense smelling insect. Dot. Squeak. The smelling insect immediately issued a series of piercing and unbearable screams. Xu Yufan was taken aback for a moment, this incense smelling insect would still resist. Xu Yufan possessed his soul again, and this time he succeeded. In an instant, Xu Yufan had a connection with the smelling insect. Successful, Xu Yufan muttered in surprise, and then he tentatively controlled the smelling insect, controlling it to fall down. Sure enough, the smelling insect obeyed Xu Yufan and slowly flew up in the spirit beast bag. Next, 
Xu Yufan did several more experiments, all of which were successful, but he could feel the strong resistance of the incense worm, and every time he gave an order, the incense worm hesitated. If it wasn't for my spirit being stronger than it, I would definitely be unable to drive it. Xu Yufan withdrew the ray of spirit and opened his eyes. Sure enough, as the animal skin paper said, if you want to completely solve this problem and make the smelling insects like own eyes, you must feed them with own blood essence for a hundred days. After pondering for a moment, Xu Yufan moved his finger, and a blood bead the size of a soybean appeared on his middle finger. Xu Yufan opened the spirit beast bag, and sent the blood bead of own into it. Then own divine sense also followed into the spirit beast bag, observing the movement inside. After the blood beads entered the spirit beast bag, the smelling worm rushed over like a cat seeing a fish, and bit the blood beads. In the next second, Xu Yufan's blood essence was devoured. After devouring Xu Yufan's blood essence, the scented insects made a burst of excited chirping sounds, very much like a cheerful bird chirping. It worked. A smile flashed across Xu Yufan's eyebrows. But soon after smelling the incense insects, they flew towards the corner. Xu Yufan's divine sense scans, and finds that the smelling worm is motionless when it reaches a corner. What is this for? Xu Yufan felt strange, and probed the divine sense into the body of the incense-smelling insect, which was full of vitality. Looks like it fell into a sleep, after devouring my blood essence. Xu Yufan calmed down a bit and breathed a sigh of relief. Not long after, Xu Yufan noticed a slight change in the body of this incense-smelling worm, which seemed to be a little bright. Moreover, there seemed to be something inexplicable in my soul. It seems that a bridge has been built with the incense-smelling insects, and there is a connection between them. Xu Yufan was surprised. Is this the recognition of the Lord? Xu Yufan thought to himself, returned the divine sense, hung the spirit beast bag around his waist again, and ignored it. Now that you have established a bond with the scent bug, you only need to feed it a drop of blood essence daily. After a hundred days, you can be done. Putting away the animal skin paper, Xu Yufan came to the medicine garden, where pharmacist Jin was working hard. I have to go, this white ape king really looks like a, a farmer. The little mouse stood up straight, its small eyes kept moving around, but its eyes never left the spiritual herbs in the medicine garden. Xu Yufan looked at the silver snake gall and purple golden vine in the corner. These two spiritual herbs have been planted in the medicine garden for several days, and their age has naturally grown to nearly 200 years. The leaves are more colorful and beautiful. Xu Yufan bent down, pulled out a 60 to 70 year old common spiritual herbs, and handed it to Jerry. Squeak. Jerry yelled happily, took the medicinal herbs, put them in his mouth and began to bite. Squeak. In a short while, all the spiritual herbs were swallowed by Jerry. So full. The little mouse propped its stomach with its hands, looking unsatisfied. Seeing this, Xu Yufan showed a dazzling smile. Xiao Ji, is it time to work when you're full? Squeak. The little mouse raised its head and stared at Xu Yufan with its round eyes. Boss, what are you doing? Didn't you say last time that you could deal with the spirit stones that were handed over to the spirit? Now that I'm in the mine, tell me, how do I get it done? Quote. Hearing Xu Yufan's question, the little mouse's eyes sparkled, Boss, do you know who I am? Without waiting for Xu Yufan to answer, Vajra, who was working hard, suddenly raised his head and said disdainfully, Isn't it just a stinky rat? Second brother, you are too much. Jerry snapped his teeth and claws. HMPH, who told this stinky mouse to be so greedy, always stealing my spiritual herbs. Vajra's eyes widened, and now he valued the medicine garden more than his own life. Seeing the bickering between the two demonic beasts, Xu Yufan couldn't help feeling a big headache. My golden pharmacist, plant spiritual herbs quickly. Xu Yufan made a serious face. Vajra pouted, lowered his head and continued busy with his own work. Xu Yufan turned to look at Jerry again. Xiao Ji, you are just a spirit mouse. What does this have to do with spirit stones? Squeak. Jerry wagged his tail and looked at Xu Yufan with a pair of shining eyes. Xu Yufan was taken aback, what do you mean? Squeak squeak. Can you use soul transmission? Xu Yufan slapped him with a slap. Jerry somersaulted a few times and stopped. Boss, we spirit rats have a strong perception of items with spiritual chi. Whether it is spiritual herbs method. 
Whether it is heavenly and mortal treasures such as spirit stones or heavenly and mortal treasures, as long as the spiritual chi contained is rich, we can all sense it. Of course, this is only limited to a certain extent. Quote, you mean you can sense spirit stones somewhere in this mine? Xu Yufan exclaimed. Well, as long as it is within my perception range, I can accurately determine the location of the spirit stones. Jerry nodded. Xu Yufan was overwhelmed by Jerry's exact answer. Spirit-seeking rats are the lowest level of demonic beasts, and they usually only come to find places where spiritual chi is relatively strong. He didn't expect Jerry to be able to perceive the spirit stones underground. Then this can also prove that Jerry is not an ordinary spirit mouse, and must have the same abnormal blood as Vajra. So what is your perception range? Xu Yufan asked. Jerry didn't answer immediately, but tilted his head, thought for a while before saying. My current cultivation base is not very high, and I only have the fifth level of chi refining. I can only perceive a radius of 50 meters. If it exceeds 50 meters, it will not be so accurate. 50 meters. 50 meters in radius. Xu Yufan's eyes widened with shock. The fifth level of chi refining dares to sense objects within a radius of 50 meters. If it reaches the foundation establishment stage, won't it be able to sense objects within a radius of 1,000 meters? Ha ha, developed, developed. Xu Yufan was excited, thinking that he almost killed Jerry and used it to refine medicine pill. Fortunately, this guy was human and the quality of the medicine pill he refined was not good, so he escaped his life. Ha ha, let's go out and find the spirit stones. Xu Yufan grabbed Jerry. Master, I, I want to eat some more spiritual herbs. Jerry grumbled. Shut up. Let's hurry up and wait until you help me find the spirit stones and feed you. Hey, apothecary gold, go dig up spirit stones. Quote. Xu Yufan called out to Vajra. No, I'm too busy weeding. Vajra didn't even look up. Xu Yufan thought about it, and now that the spirit stones haven't been found yet, and he can't use Vajra for the time being, he didn't feel compelled, so he took Jerry and left the Great Thousand World. Coming outside. Jerry climbed onto Xu Yufan's shoulders, straightened up, and looked straight ahead. Are the spirit stones up ahead? Xu Yufan asked in surprise. Luckily, I sensed the presence of the spirit stones as soon as I left the big world. However, Jerry poured a basin of cold water on Xu Yufan directly. No, I didn't sense the existence of spirit stones, and there is no place with strong spiritual chi around here. No, Xu Yufan looked confused, no. What do you feel when you straighten your body and look at it? Quote. Jerry spread his hands. I just think it's more majestic. Xu Yufan was speechless. After petrifying for a while, Xu Yufan asked, Xiao Ji, where are you going? Jerry tilted his head and said via voice transmission, Boss, go left. You sure, sure, is there any basis for it? Ah, uh, I figured it out, the left channel is more likely. Jerry said in a sound transmission. Xu Yufan pondered for a while, then walked to the passage on the left. After a quarter of an hour, Xu Yufan came to the end of the passage. Facing a stone wall, he asked in a daze, Xiao Ji, is there a high chance that there are spirit stones here? The little mouse blinked, and replied through sound transmission, this, maybe I missed it. Count with your fingers, ah, the mouse has a hooked finger. My master Jia, let's go. Xu Yufan turned around and left the passage helplessly. After walking out of the passage, Xu Yufan didn't ask Jerry which direction he chose. If he said, I've counted with my fingers, again, he would probably spend his entire life circling underground. Xu Yufan took Jerry to walk in the dark mine tunnel, and all he saw was endless darkness. Running around is like navigating a maze. Fortunately, Xu Yufan has also come out of some experience after going through a lot of passages. At least it can be distinguished that it is a channel that has not been mined for a long time, and that is an abandoned channel. At this moment, Xu Yufan is walking in a passage that is not old but not new, and he feels a little bit of spiritual chi emanating in front of him. According to his half-day experience in the mine, this is the spiritual chi fluctuation emitted by the spirit stones. But it's not a lot of spirit stones, but scattered spirit stones in one piece or two. This kind of spirit stones exuding spiritual chi fluctuations is very common, and Xu Yufan also dug up seven or eight pieces, all of which are low-grade spirit stones. 
I didn't understand it at first, and thought I had missed it, but Xu Yufan understood after digging a few more times. This kind of scattered spirit stones is not picking up leaks, but those mining disciples disdain to dig them up and waste time. If you mine spirit stones according to this speed, don't say 4,000 spirit stones in three months, you can't dig out even 1,000 spirit stones. Therefore, Xu Yufan finally gave up mining the scattered spirit stones, the efficiency was too low. Master Jia, is there a strong spiritual qi emitting from this passage? Xu Yufan turned his head and asked Jerry on his shoulder. Jerry shook his head. No, boss. After a pause, he added, However, I sensed a lot of scattered spirit stones, and the number is more than the passages I have walked through before. Xu Yufan's heart moved, and he asked in a deep voice, How many? There are about ten low-grade spirit stones, boss, do you want to dig them out? I don't need it, let's move on. Xu Yufan shook his head, he had a premonition that there might be a lot of spirit stones waiting for him in front of him. Xu Yufan walked forward slowly, asking Jerry every short distance. They all got the same answer, no strong spiritual qi fluctuations were sensed. Soon, Xu Yufan came to the end of the passage. Looking at the pitch black stone wall, Xu Yufan suddenly felt that his intuition was not accurate. Just as he turned around, he was stopped by Jerry's voice transmission. Boss, I seem to have carefully felt a wave different from the scattered spirit stone spiritual qi. Xu Yufan frowned, not quite understanding, what do you mean? I feel that there may be a spirit stones mine in front of me, but the distance is a bit far, beyond my sensing range, and the accuracy will not be very high. Hearing Jerry's words, Xu Yufan's heart shuddered, beyond the detection range, that is, the distance was more than 50 meters. Xu Yufan fell into deep thought and walked through dozens of passages. Jerry never said such a thing. Now that he has said it, it must not be the kind of pinch fingers. Maybe, there really is a spirit stone's mine ahead. Xu Yufan thought so in his heart. How far we dug in, you can sense the exact location of the abnormal spiritual qi. About, about 10 meters. You sure, probably sure. Xu Yufan gave Jerry a suspicious look, and finally nodded. Trust me again, Master Jia. Take out the special pickaxe for mining from the storage bag, run the magic power, and start hitting the stone wall. Bang bang, bang bang. Stone chips flew, and the pickaxe in Xu Yufan's hand was blessed with magic power, easily smashing the hard stones into pieces. It seems that mining is not so difficult. The corners of Xu Yufan's mouth curled up slightly, he laughed and continued to dig forward. However, when he dug four or five meters in, he began to feel numbness in his arms. If you keep one posture for a long time, your body will start to get tired. Jerry, it is now possible to confirm that a strong spiritual qi. Is the location correct? Quote, Xu Yufan asked with his head sideways. Cannot. Jerry shook his head. Xu Yufan stopped digging, threw the pick aside, and sat down on the ground. Too tired, Xu Yufan cursed and rubbed his aching arm. Boss, ask the second brother to come out and help you dig. Jerry suggested with a smile. Ah, yes, why didn't I think of that? Xu Yufan hurriedly entered the Great Thousand World, at this time Vajra had finished the work on the side of the medicine garden, and was sitting on a tree branch practicing meditation. Xiao Jin, stop practicing. Vajra opened his eyes, boss, what's wrong? Come on, follow me to the outside world. Xu Yufan said something, and without waiting for Vajra to answer, with a thought, he appeared in the mine with Vajra. Boss, are you in big trouble in such a hurry? Yeah, Xu Yufan nodded. This time the trouble is serious, we are stuck in this passage, just waiting for you to help me get through. Vajra was taken aback when he heard the words, and his face became serious in an instant, what's going on? It's too late to explain, hurry up, dig in. Xu Yufan picked up the pickaxe and handed it to Vajra who was still in a daze. Vajra took the pick in a daze, turned around and began to work hard. Vajra is worthy of being the demonic beasts of the Foundation Establishment period. His strength is extremely terrifying. He knocked on the stone wall like cutting tofu, and the broken stones, bang bang bang, splashed around. It didn't take long for Vajra to chisel in over a meter. Xu Yufan followed closely behind Vajra. Jerry, can you sense it? I sensed some, but it's very vague. 
I don't know the exact location, so I dig in a little bit. Really, Xu Yufan's eyes lit up, Xiao Jin, dig again. Okay, boss, Vajra continued to bury his head, and went more than a meter deeper. Yes, I sensed it. Jerry, standing on Xu Yufan's shoulder, suddenly jumped up excitedly, and sent a voice transmission to Xu Yufan. Where, Xu Yufan asked hastily, a little bit to the left, 50 meters away. Good, Xu Yufan was overjoyed. Next, Xu Yufan and Vajra left the field in turn. The progress of excavation was very fast, but within an hour. One person and one beast have already dug the passage for more than 40 meters. Jerry, how far is it? Xu Yufan asked. Boss, hold on, it will be here soon, the spiritual chi fluctuations are more than 10 times stronger than before, I feel that there may be the existence of top-grade spirit stones. Jerry's voice became more and more urgent, as if he was running, he was panting heavily, sweat dripping from his body. Excited, it's so exciting. Top, top spirit stones. Xu Yufan's heart skipped a beat, if there were top-grade spirit stones in it, he would be really mad. Xu Yufan took a deep breath, gritted his teeth, activated the magic power again, raised the pickaxe, and smashed hard at the stone wall in front of him. Vajra, who was resting on the ground, obviously hadn't reacted yet, and watched the conversation between the little mouse and the boss with a dazed expression. Boom, the iron pick in Xu Yufan's hand smashed hard on the stone wall, causing the stone wall to tremble violently, and then cracked. As soon as he hoed down, the wall broke open, and an aura ten thousand times stronger than the spiritual chi emanating from the low-grade spirit stones fell on Xu Yufan's face. Boss, this is it. Jerry let out a cry. Xu Yufan quickly broke through the wall, and after opening a small passage, the whole person got in. As soon as his feet touched the ground, Xu Yufan's body stopped stiffly on the spot. Jerry on the shoulders also stared wide-eyed, straightened his body, and remained motionless. Vajra, who was behind, followed in suspiciously. As soon as his huge body got in, he froze in place. Xu Yufan and the two demonic beasts entered a huge space. The space is very vast, nearly 200 square meters. In this space, countless spirit stones are suspended in midair, densely packed. There are countless spirit stones arranged in an orderly manner, exuding a strong spiritual chi. It took a long time for Xu Yufan and Vajra Jerry to react. This, this is not a dream, Xu Yufan said stupidly. So many spirit stones, he can't help feeling dizzy, this is so exciting. Suddenly, Xu Yufan felt a huge force coming from the side, before he had time to react, he flew out. Boom, just dropped a dog gnawing shit. It was Vajra at his side who struck him. Vajra, what are you doing? Xu Yufan got up, furious. Ah, boss, didn't you say that this is a dream? So, I, I want to prove to you that you are not dreaming. Quote. Vajra looked innocent. Shu Yu Fan. I, I want to beat you to death. Boss, seal the entrance quickly, or else the spiritual chi will leak and attract other mining disciples. Jerry reminded. Shu Yu Fan came to his senses and quickly turned around to block the entrance. To be on the safe side, Shu Yu took out the Shaoshuan Tianjun and placed it in the spirit stone's cave. After pondering for a while, he took out the lost formation and arranged it. There were so many spirit stones that it had to be doubled to cover up the spiritual chi it emanates. Boss, we have developed, this should be the core of the entire Bashan spirit stones mine. Exclaimed Jerry excitedly, Xu Yufan observed the spirit stones hole in front of him, and countless top-grade spirit stones emitting scorching spiritual chi floated in it. Empty space, neatly arranged. It's totally a hill. Boss, let's move this spirit stone's mountain to the world. Vajra suggested. Xu Yufan shook his head, there are too many, and there are not enough places in the Great Thousand World. Although the Great Thousand World already has a space of nearly 150 square meters, it is still a bit smaller compared to this spirit stone's mountain. There are so many spirit stones that can't fit in the world. Then what to do? Vajra asked anxiously. These are all top-grade spirit stones, and they are extremely helpful to his cultivation. How to do? Xu Yufan frowned. After thinking for a moment, he said, we'll stay here for now. When I break through to the ninth floor of Qi Refining, the Great Thousand World will expand again. At that time, we will definitely be able to move the spirit stone's mountain in. 
It is naturally impossible to give up so many spirit stones, so let's practice here for now. Anyway, I am not far from the ninth floor of Chi Refining. Haha, ha, the boss is still thoughtful, so let's practice here. Vajra smiled and sat down in lotus position. Squeak. Jerry yelled a few times, jumped to the spirit stones mountain, and practiced directly on the spirit stones. Shu Yufan didn't hesitate anymore, he had to go out and hand in the spirit stones in three months, and it would be best if he could break through to the ninth level of qi refining within three months. He took out two qi refining pills from the storage bag and swallowed them. Shu Yufan sat down cross-legged, closed his eyes tightly, restrained his mind, and meditated on refining. Three months later, the North Mountain Spirit Stones Mine. Deep in the mine, hole in the hole of the spirit stones. Shu Yufan opened his eyes, a trace of complicated color flashed in his eyes. Dot, I didn't expect to practice in the spirit stones mine with such a strong spiritual chi, and under the impact of so many top grade chi refining pills, I didn't break through to the ninth level of chi refining. It's really, hey. Sighing, he stood up. In the past three months, Shu Yufan has suspended the practice of controlling the spirit ju and sprinted to his own cultivation base with all his strength. However, three months have passed, and Shu Yufan has only reached the peak of the eighth level of qi refining, and he is still as thin as a sheet of paper away from the ninth level of qi refining. But it was this paper-thin boundary that stuck Shu Yufan. Today is the day to turn in the spirit stones every three months. Originally, Shu Yufan planned to break through to the ninth floor of qi refining, expand the space of the Great Thousand World, move this spirit stones mountain to the great thousand world, and go out safely to hand in the spirit stones. But it was a pity that the sky failed as people wished, Shu Yufan did not break through to the ninth level of qi refining, and this plan was directly declared to be a failure. Shu Yufan walked back and forth a few times in the spirit stones hole, whether he should go out and hand in the spirit stones. If he didn't go out, Long Wenji would definitely use this reason to make things difficult for him, and even take the opportunity to kill him. But if he leaves now, Shu Yufan is worried about such a big spirit stones mountain. Of course, Shu Yufan can also knock down part of the spirit stones and put them into the Great Thousand World, but Shu Yufan doesn't want to do that. He didn't want to destroy the spirit stones mountain just yet. According to what he had seen in the Cultivation Comprehension Encyclopedia, before, such a complete top-grade spirit stones mountain might conceive a kind of heavenly and mortal treasures called, Linkui. Spirit, is the crystallization of spirit stones. Only top-grade spirit stones and top-grade spirit stones mountains can give birth to, spiritual essence. This is the reason why Xu Yufan wanted to directly move the entire spirit stones mountain to the Great Thousand World, and he wanted to obtain spiritual essence from it. According to records, the spirit essence is extremely versatile and has extremely strong effects. Swallowing it directly can improve the cultivation base, enhance the strength of the physical body, cleanse the essence and cut the marrow, and improve the root qualification of the cultivator. If the Dantian magic power is exhausted, only one-tenth of a drop is needed to restore all the magic power directly. Not only that, the essence can also add pill refining and refining equipment to improve the success rate and quality. The extensive and powerful effects of Linkui are unique in the world, and it is definitely one of the most precious treasures for all cultivators. Of course, such a heaven-defying spirit essence is naturally very difficult to obtain. Every thousand years, a complete top-grade spirit stones mountain will give birth to a drop of spiritual essence. It takes 500 years for the top-grade spirit stones mountain to produce a single drop of spiritual essence. Qianyuanzong has dozens of spirit stones mines in the Great Qin State, but most of them are low-grade spirit stones, and only middle-grade spirit stones are mined. Accounted for less than 20%. The top-grade spirit stones are only about 1%. The ultimate spirit stones are zero. Although there are two large spirit stone mines in these dozens of spirit stone mines, they only cover a large area, and the low-grade spirit stones mined are more than other mines, not an improvement in quality. The top grade spirit stones mined by dozens of spirit stones mines are only scattered top grade spirit stones, not the complete spirit stones mountain. It is a coincidence that the Bayshan spirit stones mine allowed Shu Yufan to mine this complete top grade spirit stones mountain. Not to mention other things, 
even the Golden Core senior who discovered the Bayesian Spirit Stones mine at the beginning only detected a few middle grade Spirit Stones, but did not find this top grade Spirit Stones mountain. Top grade Spirit Stones mountain with such a complete scale is extremely rare in the entire Chaos Continent, not to mention the Great Chin Kingdom. A complete and large-scale top-grade Spirit Stones Mountain is so difficult to find, and a spiritual essence that is rarer than the top-grade Spirit Stones Mountain is even more difficult to find like Earthly Celestial. If Xu Yu Fan can move all of this Spirit Stones Mountain into the Great Thousand World, it would be a great opportunity for him. According to the rules of the Great Thousand World, planting spiritual herbs can increase the number of years by dozens of times, so the time for Spirit Stones Mountain to conceive, spiritual essence, will definitely be shortened. Xu Yu Fan's own root bone aptitude is poor, according to the current root bone aptitude, basically he has reached the end of the 10th level of Qi refining. Taking a lot of top grade Qi refining pills and practicing next to the Spirit Stones mine for 3 months, but still not breaking through the 8th layer of Qi refining, this is the best proof. Even if it's time to use the Foundation Establishment Dan to forcefully pile up to the Foundation Establishment period, what's the use? There are also Golden Core Realm, Nascent Soul Realm. These will definitely be able to be promoted by relying on the Medicine Pill. Originally, Xu Yu Fan thought that having enough Medicine Pill support would allow him to make up for the gap in his fundamental aptitude. But the reality gave him a slap in the face, no matter how many Medicine Pills he had, he couldn't make up for the gap in fundamental qualifications. Although the top-grade medicine pill has the effect of purifying the essence and cutting the marrow, the progress is slow, and the growth of the root bone qualification is not obvious. If you want to rely on this little increase, you don't know that you have to wait until the year of the monkey. But the spiritual essence is different, it is a heaven-defying thing that directly increases the cultivation base, enhances the qualifications of the root bones, and enhances the strength of the physical body. As long as one obtains the spiritual essence, the aptitude of that bone can be improved. Pursue the Tao, pursue the ascension in the daytime, and immortality will be the same. If he wants to obtain the spiritual essence, the top grade spirit stones mountain in front of him and the special rules of the great thousand world are his greatest reliance. Therefore, Xu Yu Fan must move this complete top grade spirit stones mountain to the great thousand world. Xu Yu Fan paced back and forth, and he took out the jade slip that Zhao Xin Hu gave him. He remembered that it not only marked the number of spirit stones that need to be handed in each cycle, but also various punishment and reward systems. Jade Slip Owner, Xu Yu Fan. Spirit Stones that need to be handed in each cycle. 10,000 low grade spirit stones, high quality is calculated according to the conversion ratio. Reward 5% for the part exceeding the standard. Punishment If the standard is not met in the first cycle, they will be whipped, and the standard amount will be increased by 20% in the second cycle. Failure to meet the standard for two consecutive periods will result in a penalty. If mining disciples cannot return to the ground to hand in spirit stones within the specified time, it can be postponed to the next cycle, but the standard for handing in spirit stones needs to be doubled. Two consecutive extensions need to be doubled, and the longest extension time must not exceed four cycles. Xu Yu Fan calculated in his mind and extended the period by four periods, that is, one year, just when his exile expired. According to the penalty system, the Spirit Stones standard is doubled every cycle, that is, directly increased from 10,000 to 30,000 per cycle. Four cycles, 120,000 lower tier Spirit Stones. This is not a small amount. But, it can't be said for Xu Yu Fan today. 120,000 low rank Spirit Stones are equal to 1,200 mid rank Spirit Stones. That's 12 top grade Spirit Stones. Xu Yu Fan turned his head and glanced at the top grade spirit stones mountain, and then at the floating top grade spirit stones. Ah, a drop in the bucket. Taking 12 pieces from it will definitely not affect the integrity of the top grade spirit stones mountain. The solution has been found, so Xu Yu Fan no longer has to worry about whether to go out or stay. He just sat down on the ground and concentrated in the lotus position. He took out two top grade chi refining pills from the storage bag, put them in his mouth, and continued to hit the ninth floor of the Qi refining period. The last estate of the spirit stones mine in the North Mountains. Long Wenji sat on the chair. Zhao Xinhu came in from the outside. How is it? Is the kid surnamed Shu coming up? Long Wenji asked. No, 
I went to his residence, but I didn't see anyone, and the guards at the entrance of the cave didn't see him coming out either. Zhao Xinhu shook his head. The kid is afraid, so he dare not come up. Is it because there are not enough spirit stones dug up? Quote. Long Wenji narrowed his eyes slightly, seemed to be talking to himself, and also seemed to be asking Zhao Xinhu. Perhaps the amount dug up is not enough. 10,000 low-grade spirit stones, that's not a small amount. Zhao Xinhu guessed. Long Wenji shook his head, but did not pursue this issue further. By the way, do you have any news about Hua Fei and Lin Feng? No, the people I sent out have not sent back any news of the two of them, and there is no whereabouts of them under the mine. Zhao Xinhu said respectfully. Long Wenji was silent for a moment, put his chin in his hands, and said to himself, did Xu Yufan find out and kill him? Zhao Xinhu was stunned when he heard what Long Wenji said. Brother Long, what do you mean? Three months have passed, and there is no news at all. He is probably dead. This, that's impossible, the surname Shu is only a cultivation base with the seventh level of Qi refining, and Hua Fei is also at the seventh level of Qi refining, and he also follows Lin Feng. It is impossible for a waste of the seventh level of Qi refining to win against Sheng Wafei and Lin Feng, let alone kill them. Quote. Zhao Xinhu did not agree with Long Wenji's guess. Forget it, if you die, you will die. Anyway, it's useless to keep the two trash by your side. Long Wenji waved his hand, with a calm expression on his face, as if he didn't care about the life and death of the two of them at all. By the way, senior brother Long, how will Uncle Cheng explain? Should I tell him the truth, or? Zhao Xinhu asked, how else should I explain it? Just say that the kid surnamed Xu has been beheaded by us. He couldn't verify it anyway. Quote, Long Wenji pursed his lips, as if he didn't have much interest in Cheng Kui. Would this, be wrong? After all, he is sect's deacon. Zhao Xinhu hesitated for a moment and said. Long Wenji's eyes turned cold, and he said disdainfully, what's wrong? He's just a dog of junior brother Joe. When my term expires and I go back to sect to be promoted to the foundation establishment period, he still has to curry favor with me. Besides, in my eyes, Xu Yufan is already a dead person, it's just the difference between early death and late death. I don't believe he can escape from Baishan Mine. Quote. Yes, senior brother Long is wise, I will report to Cheng Deacon as senior brother said. Zhao Xinhu showed a look of admiration, and slapped him hard. Long Wenji nodded in satisfaction, this is the gesture of a dog. The number of people coming out of the mine is almost there. Zhao Xinhu nodded. It's almost done, just wait for Brother Long to preside over the collection of spirit stones. Let's go, let's see who can turn in the spirit stones on time and on time this time. Long Wenji stood up, comma, stepping towards the outside. Walk. Zhao Xinhu followed closely behind. The two quickly left the luxurious manor and walked towards the square. Half a month later, deep in the mine, top grade spirit stones mountain. Ah, Xu Yufan let out a long howl, and the surrounding spiritual qi gathered towards him, forming a strong vortex around him, and the vortex absorbed the surrounding spiritual qi into his body, transforming it into own magic power. Inside Xu Yufan's dantian, Magic power impacts Dantian, expanding its capacity bit by bit. Xu Yufan resisted the numbness from Dantian, trying his best to absorb spiritual qi. Finally, a quarter of an hour later, Xu Yufan's Dantian has expanded to the limit, and the magic power is also full. Ah, in an instant, Xu Yufan felt refreshed and filled with magic power. Ha ha, I, Xu Yufan, have finally advanced to the ninth level of qi refining. Xu Yufan looked up to the sky and laughed long, filled with a hint of joy. Three and a half months, a full three and a half months, after taking all the top grade qi refining pills, Xu Yufan finally broke through the bottleneck of the eighth level of qi refining and was promoted to the ninth level of qi refining. Call, Xu Yufan let out a long breath, and finally reached his goal. Vajra, who was practicing meditation, and Jerry, who was practicing on the spirit stones, were also disturbed by Xu Yufan's movement. They opened their eyes and ran to Xu Yufan. Boss, have you broken through to the ninth level of qi refining? Both Vajra and Jerry had a look of joy in their eyes. Well, I have now been promoted to the ninth level of qi refining, 
Come on, let's go into the Great Thousand World and see how much space has been increased. Xu Yufan nodded, his face was full of excitement. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I haven't been in for a while, and I don't know how the spiritual herbs in the medicine garden are growing. When it comes to the universe, Vajra immediately turns into a golden pharmacist. During these three and a half months, every seven or eight days Xu Yufan will send Vajra into the world to manage the medicine garden. Of course, every time Jerry would clamor to go in and help. Squeak, Jerry snapped his teeth and claws. Smelly mouse, if you steal the leaves of spiritual herbs again, I won't recognize you as the third brother. Xu Yufan couldn't help laughing, these two live treasures. Hey, I can't control it. Okay, stop bickering, let's go in. Xu Yufan grabbed Vajra and Jerry and went into the Great Thousand World. There was a change in front of my eyes, one person and two beasts appeared in the Great Thousand World. When they saw everything in front of them, they couldn't help but straighten their bodies and open their mouths wide. I saw that the entire Great Thousand World was three or four times larger than before, and the medicine garden that was on the sidelines had become the center. This time the top grade spirit stones mountain can be moved in. Xu Yufan came back to his senses and breathed a sigh of relief. Ah, my medicine garden can also be expanded, I have long since disliked that there is not enough space. Vajra always remembers his medicine garden. Ah, can I start drilling? Jerry thought to himself, sort out a location, I'm going to move the top grade spirit stones mountain in. Xu Yufan said to Vajra, all right, boss. Baikyuku. Hearing that Xu Yufan was going to move the top grade spirit stones mountain in, Vajra's eyes lit up, and he replied cheerfully. Ever since, Xu Yufan and Vajra began to organize and plan the world. An hour later, the planning of the entire Great Thousand World was finally completed, and Xu Yufan and Vajra reserved an open space about the size of the top grade spirit stones cave outside. Ha, huh, it's finally done. Xu Yufan let out a long breath of foul air. Boss, how did you move that top grade spirit stones mountain? Vajra was puzzled. Go, you will know when you go out. After Xu Yufan finished speaking, he locked Vajra and Jerry, and then left the Great Thousand World together. One man and two beasts reappeared in front of the top grade spirit stones mountain. Looking good, Xu Yufan walked a few steps slowly, and came to the top grade spirit stones mountain, and he pressed the spirit stones with one hand. Take a deep breath, and divine sense covers the mountain of top grade spirit stones. Let me in, Xu Yufan let out a loud roar, and then his divine sense shook violently. The top grade spirit stones mountain actually disappeared out of thin air. Ah this, Jerry's narrow eyes widened, eh, hey, the spirit stones mountain is gone. Vajra's jaw dropped to the ground. Xu Yufan ignored the two demonic beasts, he raised his hand and gave himself a slap, and couldn't wait to enter the great world. In less than half a second, Xu Yufan appeared in the spirit stones hole again. Ha ha, it worked, Xu Yufan laughed wildly, almost rolling on the ground. Boss, spirit stones moved in. Xu Yufan laughed wildly while nodding. Ah, boss, you are so awesome. Vajra and Jerry gave a thumbs up in admiration. Boss, let's go in. Go, my eyes are starving and I can't wait to see the spirit stones. Quote. Jerry used his spirit to transmit the voice. Um. Xu Yufan divine sense locks Vajra and Jerry. Snapped. Enter the Great Thousand World again. At this time, the Great Thousand World is full of light, and a complete and huge top grade spirit stones mountain stands firmly on the ground. Ha ha. Mountain spirit stones, are mountain spirit stones. Jerry jumped on the ground excitedly. Ah ha ha, we are developed. Vajra said excitedly. Looking at the huge top grade spirit stones mountain in front of them, the two beasts were trembling with excitement, and they couldn't help but want to rush forward, pick it up, and gnaw a few bites hard to satisfy their hunger. After being ecstatic, Xu Yufan told the two beasts about the spirit. After listening to Xu Yufan's narration, the two beasts' moods rose again. This spirit is great for cultivators, but it's also great for demonic beasts. So, from now on, you must not touch this top grade spirit stones mountain, we have to wait until they give birth to spirit essence. Xu Yufan exhorted. Um, the two beasts nodded to show they knew. Xu Yufan thought about it for a while, told Vajra and Jerry to be optimistic, not to let those hairs, 
pheasants and birds approach, he left the great world and returned to the spirit stone's cave again. Put away the Maizong formation and Shaoshuan Tian formation, return to the great thousand world, and arrange the two formations without saying a word, completely covering the top grade spirit stone's mountain. Hey, there will be no accidents without you guarding now. Watching the top grade spirit stone's mountain disappear and turn into mist, Xu Yufan smiled in satisfaction. Although Vajra and Jerry are human, they are not very mature. Maybe one day his head gets hot and he smashes his top grade spirit stone's mountain, and the loss outweighs the gain. So it is safer to use formation to block. Vajra and Jerry did not show any dissatisfaction, but praised the own boss for his prudence. After dealing with the top grade spirit stone's mountain, the big matter hidden in Shu Yufan's heart was finally settled, and he could be completely relieved. Come on, let's go out and collect those scattered spirit stones. Shu Yufan said to Vajra and Jerry. After he moved the spirit stones mountain into the Great Thousand World, he saw a large area of spirit stones scattered in the hole. Ah, boss, I'm not going, I'm going to expand the medicine garden several times. Vajra shook his head and rejected Shu Yufan's proposal. Shu Yufan thought for a while, and he was right, the medicine garden is too small, the growth of spiritual herbs has been restricted, and the medicine garden should be expanded. Well, okay, you can be your medicine farmer with peace of mind. Shu Yufan nodded, then turned to Jerry. The little mouse shook its head like a rattle. No, no, I'm not far from the sixth floor of Qi Refining, so let's practice here. After Jerry finished speaking, he turned and ran. Seeing Jerry running back, Shu Yufan laughed. Sorry, the Qi Refining pills are all used up. Jerry. Shu Yufan reappeared in the Spirit Stones cave with Jerry the mouse on his shoulders. Looking at the top grade Spirit Stones all over the place, Shu Yufan almost burst into laughter. It must be one or two thousand yuan. Action. Shu Yufan let out a loud cry, and happily grabbed the high grade Spirit Stones on the ground. In the Great Thousand World, Vajra looked at the Spirit Stones that kept falling, and said happily, Fortunately, the old power is able to control the landing position of the spirit stones. If not, my garden will be destroyed. I even have the heart to die. It took Shu Yufan three quarters of an hour to throw all the top grade spirit stones into the Great Thousand World. Looking at the empty, oily and reflective spirit stones hole, Shu Yufan pouted, turned around and punched through the entrance he blocked before. Now the spirit stones mountain has been taken away and the scattered spirit stones have also been thrown into the Great Thousand World, so it doesn't make sense to block it. Hey, boss, don't we go back to the Great Thousand World to practice? The little mouse jumped on Shu Yufan's shoulder a few times, obviously a little puzzled by Shu Yufan's actions. Not going back, let's continue to search to see if there is such a complete spirit stones mountain here. Shu Yufan said expectantly. If there is another top grade spirit stones mountain, it is really promising. Jerry lost his energy all of a sudden, pulling his head together, finding spirit stones is not an easy task. Don't worry, whether you can find it or not, I will give you a spiritual herb every day. Shu Yufan patted Jerry on the head and said seductively. Come on, let's go find the spirit stones. With a wave of Jerry's little paw, he came over with high spirited voice transmission. Shu Yufan. Foodies are really easy to fool. Half a month later, in a mine somewhere, Shu Yufan raised the pickaxe and hit it hard a few times, revealing a few spirit stones that were more ferocious than the dirt. Ah, it's mid grade spirit stones. Shu Yufan shook his head and put the three middle grade spirit stones into the storage bag. For the past half month, Shu Yufan and Jerry have been shuttling through the underground mines day and night. It is true that there are no large-scale spirit stones mountains, and some are only scattered spirit stones. Forget it, don't look for it anymore, it seems that the spirit stones mine in Bashan no longer has a lot of spirit stones mines. Shu Yufan put away the pickaxe and said to Jerry on his shoulder. Jerry, who was dozing off on Shu Yufan's shoulder, immediately became energetic. Boss, it should be over long ago. Yeah, it's time to end. Shu Yufan nodded, and led Jerry into the Great Thousand World. Seeing Shu Yufan coming in, Vajra looked angry, holding the golden iron rod in front of his chest. Let me tell you, don't think that you can be lawless because you are the boss. No one can pull out my spiritual herbs today. 
Vajra has a posture of stepping on my corpse first if he wants to pull out the spiritual herbs. Xu Yufan laughed. For the past half month, he came in every day to get a spiritual herbs for Jerry to eat, but Vajra was in a hurry. Broken. Hee <laughs> hee, I won't engage in spiritual herbs today, don't worry, my golden pharmacist. Xu Yufan said. Real. Vajra looked at Xu Yufan suspiciously, not believing his words. Well, really. Xu Yufan nodded. Jerry on the shoulder quit, straightened up, baring his teeth and claws. However, Vajra and Xu Yufan directly ignored the little mouse who had no combat power. Hey, boss, I have some good news for you. Vajra put away the golden iron rod and said to Xu Yufan mysteriously. What good news? Xu Yufan asked curiously. Silver snake gallbladder and purple golden vine bear fruit. Vajra said excitedly. Xu Yufan became excited when he heard the words, and hurriedly asked. Really? Well, it's true, the growth cycle of the two kinds of spiritual herbs has reached the limit, and they can't grow any more, so they bear fruit. Great, Xu Yufan jumped up happily. Go, go and see. After speaking, Xu Yufan turned around and walked towards Yao Yuantian. Vajra followed closely behind. One person won. The beast soon came to the medicine garden. At this time, the medicine garden expanded four times and was directly divided into four pieces by Vajra. The first piece is planted with ordinary spiritual herbs, and the second is planted with silver snake gut and purple golden vine. The third and fourth have not planted any spiritual herbs yet. Xu Yufan looked at the first medicine field, most of which were short spiritual herbs, most of which were not very old, only 40 or 50 years old. Boss, this is what you have done for half a month. Vajra said bitterly. In the past half month, Xu Yufan gave Jerry all the older ones. Ahem, it won't be pulled from today. Xu Yufan explained awkwardly. In fact, even if he does not return to the Great Thousand World and continues to search for spirit stones outside, Xu Yufan will explain to Jerry that he will not give him spiritual herbs. Okay, okay, as long as there are seeds, are you afraid that there will be no spiritual herbs? Xu Yufan waved his hand. Hearing this, Vajra rolled her eyes and didn't bother to pay attention to him. At this time, Jerry leaned close to the medicine field, smelling the scent of those spiritual herbs, looking salivating. Vajra's eyes widened. I, I just smell it and don't move my mouth. Jerry chattered. Shu Yufan didn't understand this, but Vajra, who is a beast, naturally understood. It glared, slapped Jerry on the head, and shouted angrily. Get out. When did you say that? You ate it in your mouth after smelling it. Jerry quickly hid aside and looked at Xu Yufan, his big eyes were full of accusations. Ah, just can't smell it in my mouth. I seem to have heard it somewhere, it looks very familiar. Is it similar to just not getting in? A strange picture suddenly appeared in Xu Yufan's mind. Ahem. Dot off the rails. Okay, okay, let's go see the silver snake gall and the purple golden vine. Xu Yufan said in a smooth manner. Seeing this, Jerry immediately jumped on Xu Yufan's shoulder and made faces at Vajra. Vajra snorted and turned his face away. Seeing this scene, Xu Yufan felt happy. One man and two beasts came to the second medicine field. The silver snake gall and purple golden vines were exuding a fragrance, which lifted people's spirits. I saw a fist-sized fruit on the top of the two elixir plants, and spiritual chi could be vaguely seen flowing on the surface of the fruit. It really is the climax of the year. Limit. Quote. Xu Yufan looked at the fruit and murmured. Paused for a while, then turned to ask Vajra. Xiaojin, when will the fruits of these two spiritual herbs mature? It doesn't take long. Judging from my experience, the fruit will ripen in about a day or two. Vajra stared at the fruit, pondered for a while, and said. Xu Yufan nodded slightly upon hearing this. When the fruits of silver snake gallbladder and purple golden vine mature, harvest the seeds, and continue planting, I am only one step away from the tenth floor of Qi Refining. It's time to make plans for refining the foundation establishment Dan. Quote. Xu Yufan ordered. Don't worry, boss, these things are covered by me. I can grow as many spiritual herbs as there are seeds. Vajra assured himself, patting On's chest. Xu Yufan smiled, convinced of Vajra's words. I dare not say anything about other things, but Vajra is really good at planting spiritual herbs. Okay, you are busy. I am going to practice. After Xu Yufan finished speaking, 
he turned and walked towards the pill refining room. The chi refining pill has been used up, and it has not been long since I have just reached the ninth floor of chi refining, and there is still a way to the tenth floor. Xu Yufan knew in his heart that without the best chi refining pill, it was impossible for him to break through to the tenth level of chi refining in a short time. The matter of improving the cultivation base will have to wait until the end of exile and return to Qianyuanzong to make plans. He has been in the mine for almost five months, and there is not much time left before the one-year deadline. Although the spirit stones that need to be turned in are no longer a problem, Long Wenji will never let Xu Yufan leave easily. If you want to return to Qianyuanzong safely, you must pass Long Wenji's test. Long Wenji is at the tenth level of Qi refining, one level higher than Xu Yufan, but he is not afraid of one-on-one. -on -one. With Long Wenji's character, he would never fight Xu Yufan one-on-one -on -one according to the rules of rivers and lakes. Therefore, right now Xu Yufan still has to improve his strength to face various emergencies. At present, there is no place to get magical items, and the only ones that can enhance one's own strength are, spirit controlling art, and, divine physical art. I have just broken through to the ninth level of qi refining, and I can continue to practice the divine body technique. As long as I practice the divine body technique on the ninth level of qi refining to the limit, I am afraid that Long Wenji, who is at the tenth level of qi refining, will not be able to hurt himself. Thinking like this, Xu Yufan sat down in lotus position, collected his mind, operated the mental method of divine physique, and began to temper his body with spiritual qi. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.